Welcome to the 38th Annual KVIE Art Auction. Join us all weekend for a celebration of Northern California's visual arts. Over 260 pieces will be auctioned off to the highest bidder, and you can be part of the auction by watching and bidding on your favorite pieces. View the entire collection online at kvie.org slash art auction. Then when your favorite item appears, call 1-844-KVIE-ART to place your bid. Auction proceeds benefit the programs and services of KVIE, your PBS station. So thanks for watching and bidding. And now let the auction begin. Good evening and welcome to the 2019 KVIE Art Auction. I'm David Lowe, KVIE's President and General Manager, and I'm here with Rod Stewart. And this weekend, we're celebrating 38 wow. years of the Art Auction, a three-day television event showcasing over 260 pieces of art from regional artists. If you're tuning in for Washington Week, please tune in to KVIE 2 right now. You can also watch it online or tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. right here on KVIE HD. <laughs> Each of these pieces was graciously donated in support of the arts mission of KVIE, your PBS station. And they can be yours. All it takes is a phone call and a bid and a beautiful piece of artwork might be on your wall as early as tomorrow. Getting involved is easy to do. You can preview the entire collection online at kvie.org slash art auction or just stay tuned to KVIE this weekend. When you see something you like, Call the number on your screen and place a bid. We have volunteers here throughout the weekend who will help you bid on the art. And if you're the highest bidder, then it is yours. Take a quick look at how easy it is for you to get involved in this year's auction. And thanks for watching tonight. Bidding on items in the art auction is quick and easy to do. First, explore the collection online at kvie.org slash art auction. Or keep your television tuned to KVIE. When a piece of art catches your eye, call 1-844-KVIE-ART and a volunteer will assist you. KVIE accepts all major credit cards for your art purchase and a member of our accounting team will confirm your payment within five minutes of item sale. Thank you for being part of the KVIE art auction and for making art a part of your home today. Stay tuned for the Award Winners Collection, coming up next on the KVIE Art Auction. This category features current and past award winners from the KVIE Art Auction that were carefully selected by the jurors and the curator. View all of the art featured in this year's Art Auction at kvie.org slash art auction. Well, hello and welcome to the 2019 KVIE Art Auction. I'm Rob Stewart, and over the next half hour, we will be celebrating several of the award-winning artists in this year's collection. Can't believe it's already here. This portion of the KVIE Art Auction is sponsored by Crow and Decker. A big round of applause. We would like to thank them for their commitment to supporting the arts right here on KVIE. And now here's an overview of the art that'll be up for bid during the next half hour. It's a great half hour that Dee's put together for you. Let's start off with the very first one. It is 1A Pop Art Floral. There you see it. It has a retail of $400. This is by Carol Hawkins, Mixed Media. Measures at 24 by 24. This is a curator award as well. Most of these in this category are. Item 1B is Commutertopia. Recognize where this is? Take a close look. It's by Brent Gibb. This is acrylic on canvas measuring 16 by 20. And this is a retail value of $240. Item 1C is Inverness Fisherman, and this is by Christopher Olson. It's an oil on canvas measuring 24 by 37. It is a stunner. This is oil on canvas, as I said, and it retails for $400. Item 1D is Nebula by Jared Konopitsky. This is mixed media, measuring 16 by 20. Retail value is $200. Item 1E is Bitter Fruit by Dwight Head. It's also mixed media, measuring 30 by 24. It's a stunning piece and this is retailing at $600. We already have bids on some of these. Item 1F is Celebration by Early Swanson, and this is Mixed Media, 
and this one measures at 16 by 40, and that one is the Juror Award for Figurative. It's a stunning piece. During this break, I am pleased to be joined by Dee Oldham Neath, KVI's on-staff art curator. She has been involved in the Sacramento art community for over 30 years. She was two years old when she began, <laughs> and she's one of the founders of Second Saturday, and she's not only the curator of the annual art auction, but she curates our KVIE art gallery. Now in its fifth year of operation, this is Dee's 10th curator year here. And I understand we're going to begin with the winner of the People's Choice Award. Do you have an announcement? Yes. I'd like to announce the winner of the People's Choice Award. The way we did that award is it was uh, people voted online when they tuned in at kvie.org slash art auction where you can see all the work. They tuned in and picked their favorite piece. Did we get a lot of votes? We got quite a few votes. Okay. And the winner Drum roll. is... And it's piece number 35E by Carol Hodgson. It's a lovely, a lovely study of poppies. You can bid on that Sunday at 4 o'clock. I like it. Very pretty. Congratulations, Carol. That is the People's Choice Award. Okay, let's go to the first piece, which you have right here, Dee. And as we said at the top of the show, this is the Curator's Award half hour, which means Dee select these and gave them her Curator's Award. This is Pop Art Floral by Carol Hawkins. Uh, this was one of, this was such a great piece when it came in. You have to remember a lot of these pieces, I saw them first online when they entered online. About how many? There was almost 800. Wow, that's fantastic. Um, so I didn't get to see them in person right off, some of them. But this one, even online, just really comes across. The artist says that she has a really, uh, a real strong affinity for 60s pop art. We're looking for a $100 starting bid. Which shows in this one. It's a really nice size. It's got um, bright colors. It's a mixture of collage and paint. And it was a winner of a Curator's Award. It also does not need framing because I see that it is wrapped all the way around. And there's a beautiful black on the side of it. Carol Hawkins, this is 24 by 24. D, this is a value up here of $400. Do you select the values? Um, the values are, these are professional artists. So they show, exhibit, and sell regularly in the art community. So that's what her retail okay. price is. If you went to my gallery, it would be $400. Okay, $100 is what we're looking for a starting bid on. And D, why did you pick this one for a curator award? Like I said, it just, it was a smaller piece, but it had a really big visual impact. Would you say that this is contemporary? Yes, is it it's very contemporary. It's very pop-oriented. She likes to refer to her collage work as painting with paper. Oh, that's nice. Versus painting with paint. And, you know, I, I have found it, and this may totally be tacky or not, but I just mix any kind of painting on any wall. I put them all together. Is oh, that, yeah. This could go anywhere. Now, if you have an eclectic... Um, group of work this would fit in. I like a super contemporary piece in a really traditional home. Oh, okay. Because it kind of makes it a focal point and it stands out. It's a great size, easy to place, and obviously it was one of my favorites. So this is a collage piece. So there's many different stories in this piece. Um, does it tell you a certain story? Well, I see over here, that looks like the Delta King, but then again, it may not be. Yeah, she does a lot with the op art of the black and white, which gives it a lot of depth. And then, you know, she takes a real traditional image, which is a floral, and superimposes that over this bright op art. So I just think it's an exciting piece, and it, it, um, it got a lot of attention at the, at the gallery. And we have an auction going now. We have a $100 bid on this. We're looking to take this up in $50 increments, so we're looking for $150. The way the auction works is once we have two people on the lines, then you start dueling, and then the lines typically fill up with one piece. There's so many people on, but don't worry. We have plenty of people to take your call at 1 844 584 3278. One hundred dollars. We're looking for one fifty. And don't hesitate because they do go really quickly. Yeah, that's a good reminder. If you're on the fence, you're on the wrong spot because they go so fast. <laughs> You're on the phone, not <laughs> on, on the, the phone. Fence. <laughs> or either take your phone to the fence and jump and off. We'd of like it. to thank Carol for donating the piece. I want to remind everybody that the artist donate the piece 100%. So when she gives us a $400 piece, nice. she wants KVIE to make that $400 retail. Okay, let's check in with David Lowe in the phone bank. David? 
That's right. The phones are already ringing, but there's still room for you. So all you need to do is call the number that is on your screen. If you saw any of the art in this half hour that you like, go ahead and call and get in on that bidding right now. You might be the high bidder and maybe end up with that piece in your home or office starting as early as tomorrow when you do pick up and pay. But you can't win the art if you don't call. So call early, call often, bid high, and now we're gonna check in on item number 1B. And just as David is talking, he got 150. Now we're at 200, we're looking for 250. They just keep climbing. Dee mentioned it goes fast, that's how fast it goes. We're on to Commutertopia. I love this piece. It's by Brent Gibb, you see it here. Do you recognize what window you might be looking out if you saw this from the window? We're not gonna tell you right off. It's definitely Sacramento. It is, and that is five. I'll give you that hint, but I'm not gonna tell you where it's from. And it's acrylic on canvas, 16 by 20. Dee, take it away. Um, what I really love about this piece is um, he's got almost two paintings going on in one piece. He's got this beautiful landscape where he spent quite a bit of time working the detail out in all these little trees. And then he's got kind of this loose painting that's a little more abstract of the shadows of the road and the cars on the road. And I love the fact, which is a little eerie, that all the cars are white. Hmm. Also, I want to point out that this is the strip right here. Um, that is, if you're looking towards West Sacramento, between five and the river. On the second floor. And then that would be if you're on the Sacramento side, looking out of the... Crocker Art Museum. The Crocker Art Museum. Isn't that cool? Yeah, the artist uh, did a quick sketch and a photograph, and then the piece was finished in his studio. I love it. Now, this is called Commuter Topia. I don't know about you, but that's not typically what commutes look like. <laughs> <laughs> not in Sacramento. But you can have a fantasy commute if you take this piece home. We're looking for a bid to take this up to $100. We have an $80 bid. Let me back up. Pop Art Florals going gangbusters is up to $300. Right now, we need a bid to get yeah. this up to $100. D, this is a curator award again, which is great. Yeah. Um, one of the things the artist said about this piece um, in his statement, which I really agree with, is that he wanted it to feel like it was a little window. Hmm. So if you had an office without a window, and it doesn't necessarily have to be Sacramento, it could be Davis, it could be anywhere. You know, if you if you need something, if you need a, a window in one of your rooms, he wanted this painting to feel like you were just gazing out a window, and it really does have that feeling. This painting has a lot, and I love when you look really closely, there's a lot of paint. And normally you see that in oil, but on this acrylic you can really see the pile yeah, up he of layers, paint. I like thick paint. Yeah, he really layers it up. Um, and again, like I said, he, he has a kind of a loose brush stroke going through the actual freeway that's, that's almost a little on the abstract side, but his attention to detail, you know, the fact that it's not just the shape of a car, it's every little window and little, I mean, there's only one little slice of red in the paint, in this painting, and it's those little tail lights. It's interesting when I look at it, it's very calming, but it almost stir, kind of stirs your imagination thinking about driving through. There are all the changes that have taken place during that spot over history and time in Sacramento. This is Commuter Topia, $80 we have a bid for right now. We're taking this up to $100 with the next caller. Hopefully at least $100 and, and many I more. I was shocked when he brought it in and the, listed the retail price at 240 Yeah, I, um, I am I too. think he's quite an accomplished painter. And I think, you know, if you're if you're out there, Brent, raise your prices a little. Well, it just doubled <laughs> on the uh, phone bank. It looks like we're up to $140. That's almost double on this piece. And we're taking this one up hopefully to 240 Speaking of the phone bank, that's where President and General Manager David Lowe is standing by live right now. David? And I'm looking at the bid board right now. Item number 1A, Pop Art Floral, has a high bid currently of $350. Item 1B, Commutertopia, has a high bid of $170. Remember, this is a last person standing auction. So all you need to do is call in, and as long as the bids are still there and you are the last one making that high bid, you're going to win. That's all you need to do, and there's plenty of room to get in. We're still open on item 1A and 1B. We're going to be going to 1C in just a minute. Call the number on your screen Ernest. right now. Make a bid. We're going to go back to Robin D. Okay, this next piece is really a beauty. When we walked in earlier to check out the art before we started live, this one really drew a lot of people over. This is Inverness Fisherman. It's for, oh wow, it's already almost to the bell ringer status. It's at 375 for the high bid right now. Uh, 
Commutertopia jumped to 210, by the way, and this one now is by Christopher Olson. It's gorgeous. It's 24 by 37. And the color choices are spectacular. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump in on this one really quick. I happen to know that there's at least three or four people bidding on this, and I'm not even over there, because I had phone calls and emails about this particular artist. Look at the detail of the faces. Christopher Olsen's piece last year was a bell ringer and was a big favorite. This is from a photograph that Christopher found in his studio from the 1900s. For new people, what's a bell ringer? A bell ringer is when it goes up and above the retail price. And then over the retail price is tax deductible. Right. Over the retail price is tax deductible. It's considered a, a donation to the station. Okay. So remember, these are all originals. You can't get another one of this painting. And that's the case for everything this weekend. Yeah. There's, everything. There, we, we're not selling anything that's a print or a gicle or a duplicate. Um, uh, Christopher Olson did a piece last year of Bathers on a Beach. Very well known. Oh, those are fish. Yeah, subtle use of color. Um, this is obviously a group of fishermen that have come in from obviously. the end of the day. I'm like, oh, they're fish, and you're like, obviously. Obviously, they're <laughs> fishermen, Rob. But um, it's beautiful. I love it. This really sweet little dog right here. There's another oh. one, I think, down there somewhere. And then these are all their cooking, cooking implements. So obviously, they are on the beach. They've just brought in their yeah, I catch. I love it. I love and it. And this is all the fish are strung on one big giant fishing pole. This looks very historic to me. Uh, it looks like it's back in time 1900s. for sure. Yeah, 1900s. He said that the photo was around 1900. It wasn't dated. It's fantastic. And I love the colors that are used in, in the skyline as well and the fish here. And of course, for your fishermen friends, as well as for your history buffs, this would be a fantastic addition or I always say I like to, a, a way to start someone on art. The holidays are coming up. This is the perfect chance to start someone. And this is the kind of gift that you give that someone would keep forever. Well, it's a great piece if you have a cabin or a second home or something on the beach or the ocean. Um, one of the well, things... Well, that's if you're rich. Yeah. If you're not, this is a great way to you start, You can pretend too. you're on the beach <laughs> or the ocean. Um, what I love about this piece is people are very drawn to his muted colors. But when you look at it, there's layers and layers and layers of color. I mean, we go all the way from this rich kind of abergine purple to a bright yellow, all within, you know, 12 inches, but it's not, it's not really stark. Um, when you look at all the fishermen, each one of the fishermen is completely done in a different color. You've got this guy who almost looks like he's wearing a uniform with a really dark color. It does look like a uniform. And then yeah. as you follow it this direction, you've got the whites and the, and the, all the way down to this guy with the pink and the fish are just the same you've got the really white kind of minimalistic fish and then the really dark one i That's love a good that fishing day though this and i, I really <laughs> think that this artist did a great job of capturing even with these colors spectacular detail and the reason i brought up what i said earlier about money was any person with any means of any from the smallest to the largest we have something for you Oh, there's art for it. It doesn't everybody. matter how much yeah. you, this is not an auction just for people that have money, you know? Right. Well, obviously, I've bought things. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we can afford it. All right. Let's take it over to David. You know, we've been falling down on our duties right here. We have our first bell ringer, uh -oh. right? Who? Item number 1B, the retail is 240 We have a high bid of $329, right? That's a bell ringer. This is going to be the first of very many at the uh -huh. art auction this weekend. What that means is that we went over goal. It means more money for KVID to continue to bring the great programs that you love. So when you call and make a bid and you win, not only are you going to get a great piece of art, but you are helping us raise the funds necessary to run this station annually to provide you with Masterpiece and Nova and a great Rob on the Road. So many other great programs that you your family and everyone else in the community enjoys so call the number on your screen and make a bid do it early do it often and you can end up with a great one and guess what we've got another bell ringer they're all coming back to robin d yeah now we need to get pop art floral up to 400 dollars. what you're looking at right now is nebula this is by jared konopitsky d if i'm not mistaken you had jared in our kvie gallery here yep. at the station and this is a beautiful piece we have. It's already a bell ringer. That's fantastic. This one is at $200, and we're looking to take it higher. Bell ringer does not mean it's closed. No, it's not closed. Um, again, this is a curator's award. Uh, Jared is 
One of my favorite artists, he is just Hi. an amazing, outgoing human being. He is full of life, and I mean, he's just like his work. Well, then that shows, he yeah, that shows. He smiles, he's full of life. He recently um, had a ch his first child, and so he's been doing a lot of these things that kind of um, relate to childhood in sort of a dreamy, um, almost storybook kind of thing. This would be beautiful in a children's room. I love the planets. Um, he does, uh, he shows all over the place. He does work with the Crocker. Um, he, the Crocker did a kind of a Comic-Con thing. I think they should just do a Jared, Jared Con and let him have the whole <laughs> oh, space. Oh, that's a cute name. I yeah, like that. Yeah, we should just like have that. Jared Con. This I'm all for that. This is $200 right now. We're looking for another bid to take it up to 250 All of the previous items you've seen are climbing, which is great. Right now, we're looking for 250 When Jared showed at the gallery, we sold over half the pieces right off the bat. Wow. And it's a, you know, it's a, he, his work was small, so there was quite a few pieces. Very collectible, just all over the place. I think this guy is going places. I see and people he deserves smiling to. around the studio. Look at that smile on Patty's face. People are glowing <laughs> looking at this piece of art. $200, we're looking to take this up to 250 here at the KVIE auction. And the number again is on your screen to get involved. And remember, all of the proceeds go to your PBS station, KVIE. And every piece is an original. If you really love this piece, Jared's not going to do it again. Mm. And they're not going to make posters of it. You'll be the only one that owns the sweet little fox. Also, everything here is ready to go. Yeah, you take pick it, it up tomorrow. Put it, take it home, and it's good to go. $200, we're looking for $250 on this piece. Again, this is by Jared Konopiski. D made it a cur Curator's Award. Um, Jared's really well known for using the speckle technique. He paints out the back of the canvas, and then he uses spray paint to get you know, kind of all this speckle and, and this kind of nice airbrush look down here. But then he's very painterly when he does his little characters. Very know? detailed, yeah. Yeah, they're very detailed and they're, they just, they're a whole little world of their own. So the spray is first and then he comes on top with the detail? Mm-hmm. And then he paints out the foreground. And I love this that it's, you know, it's it's all these plants and it's very organic, but then all of a sudden you've got this little planet out We there. have an auction too, D, for oh, this good. piece right now. It's Fine. at 2.25. <laughs> We're looking to take this up to 250 because this means we have more than two people on the phone. It just jumped to 250. I wish we could just ask and, and get it every time. Let's take it to 300. Come on, let's do it. 300. No, you have to it go would like be this. great. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic. This piece, Nebula, is clearly connecting with people as well as and all the people. Thank you, pieces. Jared, for always donating. This is his fourth or fifth year donating to the auction. He really supports KVIE, as well as many of our artists. Let's send it over to David, who has Inverness Fisherman. That's right, and it is still open. So if you're kind of on the fence and you don't know if you should call and make that bid, well, you should. All you have to do is pick up the phone, call the number on your screen. This is item number 1C, open for bidding. Item number 1B is also still open for bidding. But item number 1A, I believe that's closed, so you may not be able to get in on that anymore. That's how fast these pieces go. So don't let it go by. Don't kick yourself in the morning because you didn't call to get a great piece of art for your home. Item number 1C right now, if you love it, call and make that bid. We're going back to Robin D. David brings up a good point. We've only been on the air 20 minutes, and our first one is closed. You have that fast to get on and to take the piece that you would like to bid on home with you. This is Bitter Fruit. Dee's been jumping at the bit to tell us about this one. She loves this. It's at 275 right now, and this one is by Dwight Head. Oh, I love me some Dwight. There's the, the Head brothers, Dwight and Todd, um, are in the auction every year. They used to own their own gallery. They're very committed to the Sacramento art scene. What I love about this is Dwight is really well known for his um, sort of surrealistic dolly approach, but this is a completely different piece for him. It's highly detailed. It's very simple, and it just ev it evokes... Um, kind of an old nostalgia. I'm assuming that Bitter Fruit may be after the Billie Holiday song of the same title. Hmm. Um, what do you mean by Dolly? Oh, Salvador Dolly? Salvador okay. Dolly. I can't, Not I Hello Dolly. I, I, <laughs> D-A-L-I, right? Yeah. Okay. He does, um, he does a lot of Dolly-esque stuff and does a lot of figurative work, but this still life is just gorgeous. He's put so much, um, look at the detail in all of these little hash marks that make up the field. Yeah, and I mean, you know, I just realized also this is it, this is in a window. Yeah. And the mood of this is, it, it could be, oh, it could be a. Um, we're just seeing something across the studio. That's all, and it looks really pretty. So I can't wait for you to see it. But I, I love this looking out the window shot. I think it's very pretty. 
Yeah, he he has um, he has a really good sense of balance in this with this big, you've got this big area right here that's kind of blank, but there's still things going on in it. It just reminds me of the change of season. We're going through that right now where it's just now starting to get cold and we love it. He's got the fruit down here, which is, I, I don't know, could be, um, could be peaches or could be plums. Um, he did a series of or these. Apples. Yeah, as a commission for a church. Hmm. Um, and there were three of these, and he chose to give us this one for the auction. It's done on a wood panel. Oh, so yes. It's very organic feeling. And it's got, um, he's put a wax coating over the top of it. So and I was so excited that when it came in. Wax coating, does that mean that it's encaustic or not? Um, no, it's not painted in the encaustic style. He just used the beeswax to give it a texture and kind of a glow. Okay. So it, normally in encaustic, the whole piece is covered. Oh, I see. But he just did, he gave us one of his best pieces. And I'm going to say thank you again because oh, he nice. always does. You know, D, you get to say that so many times that an artist gives us what gives us, it's not a leftover. It's their best. Oh, yeah. No, the, you know, when they give us a piece and the retail on this one is $600, they are doing it because they want to give $600 right. to KVIE. And we are on the way to that amount. We are at $350 right now. We're looking for $400. This has a retail value at $600. Get on the phone if you are in even interested in this piece because by the time you get on the <laughs> phone, there'll be a lot more people on as well. David just showed us earlier, Inverness Fisherman, it's up to 625. So we keep them open when there's lots of excitement and there's lots of excitement on many of these pieces. 375 D's at Bitter Fruit, let's go to 400. Day, uh, David, let's check in with you. And I was told that they wanted me to do some weird fox pose that's kind of mimicking that, but I just can't do that and I won't do it, even though I just did. It's, this piece is still open, by the way. It's item number 1D and if you are interested in being the high bidder, all you have to do is call the number on your screen. But all of the other pieces except for 1A are also still open. Again, all you got to do is call the number on your screen and tell them that you want to make a bid. They're going to ask for your phone number and really not a lot of other information other than just how much you want to bid and you're going to be able to get in. But don't wait because if an item closes, it's too late for you and that's not great. Back to Robin D. This is a fun piece. It's called Celebration, and this is by Early Swanson. Dee, tell us about it. Um, Early is very fond of rabbits, obviously. He is currently showing in the KVIE gallery, showing his oh, paintings. Oh, these are rabbits? Yes. Okay, in the gallery, in the lobby is Those are with kind rabbits. of more bunnies. Yeah, but these are dancing rabbits. Yes. I didn't see that at first. I love it. <laughs> so this is a three-dimensional piece. It looks like it's made out of bronze, but it's actually made out of a really um, hard polymer. It can go outside. Um, there is a little bit of sparkle to the dancing figures, um, which I could, I don't want to tip it on its, on its thing, but it's very it sturdy and can go outside. No, it's not heavy at it's all. It's not heavy. But okay. it won't get blown over. And it's polymer, but it looks like it's... It looks like bronze. It looks like bronze, yes. Yeah. We are looking for a starting bid on this piece for $200 as these rabbits are raising each other up in chorus. It's a beautiful piece. It's one, honestly, one of my favorite pieces that I've seen yet. I know we're not supposed to say that, but I did say it, and it's $200 starting bid. Celebration. Is it was an award winner in the figurative category. Um, uh, I just have to correct myself. This piece is supposed to go inside. It hasn't been coded to go outside. Okay. But you All might right. be able to talk to the artist about that. If you have ballerinas in your life, if you have four daughters, um, it's just such a joyous celebration of the female dance. Or the center of any table. I would put it on, I mean, I don't have any children, but I'd put it in the middle of my coffee table yeah, right in my living room. Yeah, it's a beautiful room. piece, and it's, and it's not, you know, it's very sturdy. Um, he showed at the archive, he showed at my gallery recently, and his work was incredibly well received. $200 is what we're looking yeah, for. Yeah, he was a winner, winner last year. Perfect gift. You saw people coming in, I would imagine, in droves if this were in oh, the we, gallery. We sold tons of his work during his exhibition. Is so this, so then if you've seen a lot of his work, is this different than most pieces? What's really nice about this is this is larger than most of his pieces. Okay. Most of the pieces of these dancing um, rabbits were much smaller than this, or they were single figures. This is 16 inches tall, so that's a, a nice height, and it's 14 inches uh, why? Yeah, it's a, a perfect tabletop piece. Um, and he did a whole series of these, so it's it's always nice when you're collecting an artist to collect works that are very um, familiar 
you know, to his collectors. Right. He's very well known for doing the rabbit. It's also really nice to pick up the phone and support your PBS station, KVIE, because when you do, you are securing that this station stays on the air and stays bringing you the quality programming that you expect. Educational, insightful, entertaining, and inspiring. That is something we can guarantee you every time you turn the television on to our station or whatever device you watch us on. This is a beautiful piece. Celebrate PBS as well as the arts by starting at $200 on this piece called Celebration. And Dee mentioned this was a juror's award. Yeah, this actually won in the figurative category. Mm -hmm. um, the sculptor juror liked it too, but the figurative juror was in first, mm. so she snapped it up for an award. Got to snag it. You can so. snag it too for the opening bid of $200 right now, and as soon as more than one person is on the phone with this, the auction takes off. As I'm looking at the past 30 minutes, D, you really know what you're doing. <laughs> You have put together an People awesome like collection. Those. Yeah, the Inverness Fisherman is up to six twenty-five. It wow. has a retail of four, and it's not closed yet. And Nebula is up to four fifty. All right, stay tuned because there's more art coming up in the next half hour in the KVIE Art Auction. What's wrong with following the proven method? Isn't that the surest way to produce satisfactory results? Today, simply producing satisfactory results isn't good enough. We live in a rapidly changing landscape. Those changes require new solutions. Innovation challenges the idea that old solutions will continue to solve today's problem. KVIE is committed to the visual and performing arts through national productions like Poldark and Victoria, to our local production of KVIE Arts Showcase, and the KVIE Gallery, now in its fifth year of celebrating award-winning auction artists and California masters. KVIE's commitment to the arts stays strong because of your participation as a donor and an art buyer. Thank you for being part of the KVIE Art Auction and for making art a part of your home today. Stay tuned for Contemporary Classics coming up next on the KVIE Art Auction. Juried by Peter Stiegel, this category features abstract and non-objective works in all media. View all of the art featured in this year's auction at kvie.org slash art auction. We have a full phone bank there, and it is in action. Hello again, I'm Rob Stewart, and we're back with more incredible art. This break features beautiful collections of contemporary pieces that are really gonna brighten any wall of your home or anywhere you put it. And now let's take a look at the art that's gonna be coming up for bid during the next half hour. Take a look at 2A. It's called Sound of Music. He's saying, sing, I'm not going to do it because you'll change the channel. By Terry Watson. This is mixed media, measuring at 18 by 24. And this is a retail value of $400 with a special, special story coming up about this piece. Item 2B is Gentle Rain Upstream. It's by Dawn E. Green. There you see it. And this is acrylic on canvas, measuring 16 by 24. And this retail value is $400. And we already have, it looks like, some starting bids on these as well. 2C is Dills in the Forest. And this is a beautiful piece by Ruth Morrow. This is watercolor, measuring at $29.35. And it's a gorgeous piece. Item 2D is 2020 Vision by Paul Basie. And this is acrylic on canvas, measuring 27 by 21, and the retail value is $250. Okay, the next item is Birch Back Revisited by Kaz Hewitt. This is porcelain, measuring 16 by 8 by 3. It is beautiful. It's hanging on a wall, and it is retailing for $250. Item 2F is Lego Color Lamp. It's, it's Legos, and it's unbelievable. It's by David Tracy, mixed media, 11 by 6 by 7, and I want that Lego lamp. How cool is that? 
During this break, we're joined again by KVIE's art curator, Dee Olden Neath, and Dee puts this whole collection together, and she does a darn good job. Dee, let's talk about these beautiful pieces, the contemporary pieces, The Sound of Music. It is the sound of music. Um, this is Terry Watson, and, sh and she donates a piece every year. And when Terry listens to music, and I can't remember what it's called. I think it's synesthesia, but I'm not sure. Um, she sees music in color and form. Okay, say that again. So when she's listening to music, she actually sees the music in her head in color and form. How cool and so is that? She calls it beautifully heard and beautifully seen is what she calls that it That is work. so cool. She sees color in her head, in her mind, when, when she the, hears music. So then she composes her piece, much like people compose music. So this is the theme from the, this is the sound of music, which are, I'm not singing it. Oh, is it, the hills are a lie? Yeah. It, is it up and down with the yeah. song? Huh. Yeah. Okay, I love it. I think it's so cool. I'm just staring at it. Sorry, we're on TV. All right, so this is 2A <laughs> Sound of Music. We're looking for a starting bid of $100 for this beautiful piece. It's called Sound of Music again, and it's beautifully heard, beautifully seen. It's great for a music room if you know somebody who's a music aficionado. It's also a story piece, which I yeah. think is really important it's, with this auction. And every single one of these little squares is like an individual painting. Oh, really? They're all little individual paintings that give that part of the oh, phrase of the didn't music. I know that. So each one is painted and then it is, and they're also lifted off in yeah, this shadow box. Yeah, she lifts them up in a shadow box and then, you know, this, but she's always got these spirals in here. I don't know if those represent like a, the, the bridge of the music or a tempo or something like or that. Or it's up for your imagination, which is another great thing about art is that it's a story that you can create in and of itself. We're looking for a starting bid at $100 for this piece called Sound of Music, and it is by Terry Watson. She's a, contributed last year. Last year, we had Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Okay. But this year, we've got the Sound of Music. Um, if you're a Julie Andrews fan, or I just think it would be a beautiful thing over a piano, or, you know, if you have some sort of a music room. I come from or a an music office. family. Yeah, I, absolutely. Yeah. It's fantastic. We're looking for a starting bit of $100. Pick up the phone, call 1-844-KVIE-ART. It's important to pick up the phone quickly when you see a piece you like, because they close relatively fast, and if you're on the fence, you will be out of luck. Yeah. All right, beautiful piece. Let's turn things over to the phone bank, and we have David standing by. David. That's right, and I'm standing in the phone bank. Crow and Decker are the sponsors for this part of the art auction right now, and their employees right now are volunteering on the phone, so thanks a lot to Crow and Decker. And if you want, you can give them a call and say, hey, thanks for volunteering, but also make a bid when you do. All you have to do if you want to get involved is pick up the phone, call the number on your screen, and they're going to ask if that's really the phone number that you're calling from. If they can't see it, they're going to ask you what your number is. It's that easy. All you have to do is tell them the amount that you're willing to bid and then stay on the phone and then just try to bid higher than the other bidders. We'll walk you through it. They're going to be great. They're going to walk you all the way through. You're going to have a dedicated person take you all the way up to your winning bid. Back to Robin D. Let's get those phones ringing. Pick up the phone and show your support for your PBS station, KVIE. And this piece is The Sound of Music, if you're just tuning in. And this is by Terry Watson. It's a beautiful piece. Terry, when she hears music, she sees color, which is fantastic. And then she paints it. Um, what I love about this piece is the artist did it in a really nice shadow box. So it has tons of depth to it. Like I said, all all these little pieces. That's like two inches thick. Yeah, they're all raised up. They have, some of them have, um, what is that? Sarvosky crystals, how do you say that? Sh um, oh gosh, Schwarzky? You know. Those fancy Schwarzky. crystals. I think it's, I think it's yeah. Schwarzky crystals. They have little crystals in them. Um, she's got a little bit of- what, Wait, for real? Yeah, a little diamond dust in there like Andy Warhol used to put in his. Um, but it's, it's, it's abstract, but then it's still representational because it does represent the way she sees the sound of music. Okay, we're going to keep this one open because it is a very interesting piece. We're looking for a bit of $100, and we're going to move on to the next piece, which is another stunt. Look, we just got the starting bid. This is great. Sound of Music has an auction going, so we can sing on that one. That's good news. Okay, let's move on to the next piece, which is Gentle Rain Upstream. We're looking for a starting bid of $100 on this. This is by Dawn Green. Dawn Green, we love her. She donates every year. It's so beautiful, and it's two pieces. Yeah, which is called a? You are putting me on the spot a lot. I think okay. it's a diptych. 
There you go. Okay. Yay. <laughs> today's, today's art word is diptych. So can they be on top of each other? Nope. They're meant to be shown this way, and okay. the artist means them to be two individual pieces that are viewed as one unit. Oh, okay. Um, uh, she does really beautiful, I mean, there's kind of a Sacramento feel to a lot of the landscapes. It's beautiful. Um, you know, you've got the really deep colors down here, and you can see the little trees, and, all, and then just the amazing sky. Oh, yes. On. So it's the, I just saw it. It's the wide open sky as well. Yeah. And you mentioned the little trees yeah, right there. Yeah, it's got there. the horizon line is very low in this piece, and then you've got this big, beautiful sky. Boy, Dawn really captured the colors in our skies. Yeah, it's, a, it's part of an ongoing series, and it was made in the artist studio. So why would um, you do a diptych? I'm curious. What's the, uh, by the way, it's fascinating that they do, but what's the point? Well, there's a couple different reasons. Sometimes it's because they, they want to work on one part of the piece at a time. Mm -hmm. So instead of this being one big giant blank canvas, she only had to work on this part. Oh, okay. And then when she felt like she had it right, she could work on the other. It is painted all the way. It's called a gallery wrap. It's painted all the way around the edge. So it actually goes down and then comes back up and continues over here. I love it. I so think it's it's, it's meant to not be framed. It's got a very contemporary look to it. She lives out near the river. Mm -hmm. so, I, I think that one, one of the things I like about this, D also is, as you mentioned, the gallery wrap. And when you look at it, it looks like it just keeps flowing, even though it's two pieces. It's beautiful. We're looking for a starting bid at $100. $100. This is a retail piece of $400. And this could be yours as early as tomorrow by picking up the phone and showing support for your PBS station, KVIE. The number's on your screen. Dee's the curator, and she picked this piece out. It's a great piece. Again, Dawn is a professional artist. The people that are exhibiting here are um, all professional artists. They sell in galleries. Mm -hmm. So if you walked into a gallery, this piece would run... No, I'm looking for it on the list. The piece would retail for $400. we are looking for an opening bid. Um, it's absolutely... It would be a great piece in a corporate environment. Um, really a nice piece in a home. It's very... Um, it's kind of thoughtful and moody. I like it. It's inspiring as well. Let's go over to David. He is in the phone bank, and we're up to 275 on Sound of Music. That's great. David? That's right. The hills are alive with the sound of bidding. <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to get a lot more applause for that one, I'm, and I'm really sorry for everyone at home. Uh, but the high bid right now is $275, which means there is room for you, a retail value of $400, plenty of time to get in on the action, and all you have to do is call in with a high bid. You don't even have to call in and say, I'm going to make a bid for $300. Why don't you call in and make a bid for $400? Chances are you could end up with it because some other people might go, no, don't do that. But we're trying to give you a little bit of strategy. There's strategy involved because it is an auction. Only one person can win. Back to Robin D. But lots of people can call. One winner, but lots of calls. $300 right now, David. That's up to 300 bucks on Sound of Music. We're looking for a starting bid of $100 on this beautiful gentle rain upstream. This is a great piece. Thank you, Don, personally, for always giving to the art auction. You got to call soon because it's going to be done in about three or four minutes. It goes fast. These pieces are on the screen for a moment, but they're in your home and in your heart for a lifetime. These are also legacy pieces, and I think it is so wonderful when you see someone giving art as a gift. Let's move on to this next beautiful piece. And this is a spectacular piece. It's large, and it's one of those that you spot right away across this massive studio. This is the largest studio in Northern California. So it's a big spot, and we could see it from all the way across. This is Dills in the Forest. It's by Ruth Morrow. And Dee, tell us about this piece. Ruth is another artist that gives to the auction every single year. This, I don't know, could be Ruth's 20th year for all I'm aware of. Um, uh, it says it's, you know, it's primarily a watercolor, but it, um, it is a collage. So the artist has um, used bits of watercolor paper and bits of colored um, Japanese papers to put it together, watercolor over the top of it, and make it into a big, bright bouquet that's never going to die. Uh, so let me ask you this. It's watercolor paper as well as watercolor collaged together on mm -hmm. top of each other. Okay. Right. That's why it has such a depth to it. We're looking for a starting bid of $150 on this masterpiece of work that is worth $550, Dills in the Forest. The colors are spectacular, and so is the method and the media used. I like this piece. It's framed and ready to go. Yeah, she, she was inspired by her backyard garden, and she uses a kind of 
<clears throat> excuse me, a paper called Yupa. Yupa. Which is a really thick um, organic paper. You can see um, you can see the delicate tear marks in it and and all the different fibers in it. And then she's washed it over with the with the watercolor, and she's just done. It's it's a, just a stunning piece. I love it. It's she spectacular. She always gives me her best work. Yes, and Thank she you, just Ruth. did it too. This is a new yeah. piece as well. And this is Dill. Oh, good. Dills in the Forest is up to $150. We now have an opening bid on Gentle Rain upstream as well at $100. This piece is retailed at $550. Right now we're at $150. Now we're at $2. Let's take it to $250. We have an auction deal live on this piece. That's great. It's This piece is amazing. It's framed professionally. It's ready to go home and hang tomorrow. It is. You it's a lovely frame. You can go to pick frame. up and pay tomorrow and hang it up. This is a great way to start somebody's... Every time my sister has a child... Um, which she had three. You I made it sound always, like there's like a hundred. I know. <laughs> they move around really fast. Um, I always buy them a piece of art to start their collection. How nice. And I try to do the same thing for their graduations and things like that. You so. did the same thing for me, by the way, when I moved in my house. Yeah. It, art is just a beautiful gift, and, and it becomes your family heirlooms. It, it really does. I have to say, when you did that for me, I centered the whole room around one of those pieces. So thank you. I really mean that. 225, Dills in the Forest. David, take it away. We are going to be here until 10 o'clock tonight with a bunch of great art. So bring your phone with you, your laptop, still watch TV, but you want to make sure that you go to kvi.org slash art auction and preview some of the art that's coming up. And if you see something you like, guess what? You actually can call right now and make a bid on that. Afraid you're going to fall asleep before the piece comes up? You can call and say, I'm interested in item number 5D and make a bid. It's that easy. But all you have to do is call and you're in and you're helping KVIE with every bid. And now we're going back to Robin D. There's several people on the phone right now. It's at $300 and it's climbing quickly. And, and just in our ears, the producer said, are we staying for a second? And he said, yes, because this is climbing. So why? I I'm just very excited about this piece, and Ruth is a professional artist. She has a real grasp of the watercolor medium, and it's amazing that she's gone out of her um, comfort zone and done a little bit of this collage along with this. Do you encourage people to do that for the auction, to step outside a of the lot. I would say about 50% of our artists will create a piece specifically for the artist. Wow. Either, or for the auction. auction either yeah. they're working a little larger, so because small works don't translate on TV, or they just make us something new and interesting. Well, and that, that piece, piece is... was done for the auction. Cool. It's connecting and too. And so was this one. Because it's at $300 right now. Let's take a look at this gorgeous piece. Oh, I like this a lot. Oh, Basie, we love him. 2020 Vision, it's what it's called. And speaking of the auction, this piece was done specifically for KVIE because the artist has snuck a little <gasps> I see tiny. It. Do you see it? Do you? On If you're watching, do you see the the hidden six. Don't There's give it away little, yet. <laughs> no, that, I can give it away. There's a little tiny six right here. See? I love his, Paul's really well known for his mid-century modern work. Um, we He does a lot of vases. He Last year he did a beautiful piece that was a TV that a dear friend of mine actually bought me for Christmas. Oh, I was nice. shocked when I got it. I love Because I wanted to bid on it, but you know, when we're on air, we can't bid on things. And some, and one of my friends bought it for me for Christmas, and it hangs over my TV. And this, I have a very mid-century modern home, and I, this is so typical of Paul's work. You have and a fun, funky home, that is for <laughs> sure. $75 a starting bid is what we are looking for on this. 2020 Vision would retail at $250. And, oh, Dills in the Forest is jumping up, too, not to backtrack, but to update. And 2020 Vision, now we need $75. So Paul um, also teaches at the Short Center, which is one of our galleries. And I love he what works they do. With, yeah, developmentally disabled artists, and he's been doing it for a long time. He's very well known for his cartoons. You should follow him on Facebook. He's hysterical. He draws these cartoons that are just out there. A little bit of, um, what was that? The odd side, the wild side, whatever the, the far the side. The far side. He's a little far side, and then he's a little kind of quirky mid-century. Anyway, he's great cartoonist. He's also a little special because he gave us a donation, so we're grateful for that. And we, we love, love our friends who are artists. This is, oh good, this is up to $75, and that's great. We have an opening bid. We're looking for a $100 climb next to 100. It's done on canvas. Again, it's ready to hang. The edges have been painted. Um, you've got all this riot of color. And then what's 
interesting about this piece, because it's a little different than his last piece from last year, which I look at all the time, is <laughs> he's really given it texture by scratching in all kinds of pattern and texture into the paint. Well, yeah, you can give a testimony on this, because if you've had a piece in your home I for a for year a while, yeah. over your television, have yeah. you gotten tired of it? No, I okay. love it. And again, it's got that little six over there. It's, you know, these are kind of reminiscent of his TV pieces that he does, but he does these really great, big kind of funky shaped oh, these, bases. I think this is one of those dried brown flowers that they have that, that, that look the, like husks. From the 60s and 70s. Right, but he made it really cool with the colors. I, lo yeah. I love this piece. It's a really fun piece. Um, what's nice about this piece is it's got these bright, bold colors, so it really becomes a focal point. If you've got a little dark area of your house that just needs a little brightening up. And what a fun thing to come in if you put this in your office and you come into work every right. day. You can't be depressed with a painting like this in your office. Also, <laughs> if you have a lot of room above a door, if you have high ceilings, this would look great above a door as well, I think. $75 yeah, I uh, right now, we see on 2020 Vision. We can see on 2020 yep. Vision. It's at $75 and it retails for $250. David, let's check out what you've got going on over there. That's right. I'm in with the phone bank. We've got a few people on the phone, which means that uh, your bids are being received. All you have to do is call the number on your screen and get in on the action. And if you're the winning bidder, you're going to have a wonderful piece of art from a regional artist. We have over 250 pieces this weekend. It is absolutely a great time to add to your collection. We're the largest art gallery for these three days, and it's wall-to-wall -wall live television more than any other local television right station right now. It's pretty much amazing. So... You can be a part of it, too, and now we're going to check in with 2E. I see lots of people on the phone, and let's get those phones ringing. Show your support for your PBS station, KVIE. This is Birch Mark, Birch Bark, rather. Oh, I get it now. I'm so slow. It takes me forever to get it, but it's, this is Birch Bark Revisited, because it, it is like B Birch Bark. <laughs> So what Sorry. the artist has done, yeah, I'm bailing Rob out here. I love it, though. What, it's so um, pretty. What the artist has done is they start out with the organic material, and then Kaz takes the actual birch bark, covers it with a porcelain, what they call slip, which is a real thin, um, thin, thin, thin bit of porcelain, covers the bark, and then when it's fired... Um, it burns out the original bark, and you're just left with the shape of it. I wonder if that's what birch blazed. looks like on the inside. I don't Who knows? Know. Um, and then uh, the artist does this absolutely beautiful glaze um, that's, you know, it almost looks like melted glass. Oh, look at that, D. Yeah, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. $75 right now we have for a starting bid, which is fantastic. It would retail at $250. And is this, this is by Kaz Hewitt, is, is this Kaz's main medium this is what the artist is fairly well known for um she works in a studio in auburn and um she also designs and builds tables and does um she did a table here a while back i think cool at the last auction and auburn has some but fantastic ceramics what's amazing about this piece is it still feels very organic it almost feels like you know it it came you know even though it's blue, it's got that sort of volcano, very earthy feel. Every time you, you change a little angle on it, Dee... It's a different color. It pops different colors. I love that. It's folded in so beautifully. And what's really nice about working with porcelain or ceramic pieces is you can put this... You know, you can't put paper or canvas pieces, you know, in your kitchen anywhere near like a, a oh. sink or anything like that because the steam's really bad for it. But you don't have to worry about that with something that's been fired like porcelain or clay. What a good tip. It can even go in a room that's got a steamy shower in it. So you can't even put something in a kitchen or a bathroom that has a glass over it? No, okay. that won't help it at all. Well, I've got some <laughs> rearranging to do. All right, so <laughs> this is Birch Bark Revisited, $75, which is great. And we're going to to, hey, you guys ready in the phone bank? We're going over to David Lowe with 2020 Vision. There you go. We're almost David. ready, but Mary, yep, there we go. And now we're ready. This item right now, 2D, it is a bell ringer. I don't have a bell on me, though. Someone can ring it. There we go. And that means that we've met the goal that we set, but it doesn't mean that we're done. So we love to go over goal and ring the bell with every single piece. It means more money that goes into KVIA, which means more money that goes into the programs that you love. That's how it works. And you can also get a great piece of art. So if you love item number 2D, like I do, you can make the bid right now. We're going to go back to Rob and Thank you. 
Thank you so much, David. And this just jumped up to $150. It was $125 when I opened my mouth, and the second I said it, $150. Now it's at $2. Yeah, so let's keep that going. Get this all the way up to 250 so we can have a bell this ringer. This is also porcelain and ceramics. Great piece to put, like, right inside your entry hall. Mm -hmm. You know, it can even be hung right outside the door, as long as it's sheltered. Nice. You get a little bit of water on it, but um, it can deal with the hot and the cold a little bit more than a paper piece. It's beautiful, and it's at 225 right now. Come on, let's get this to 250 so you can say that you were a bell ringing winner and bidder right here on the KVIE Art Auction. 225 and D, I love that you picked this piece out. I love it. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's keep this open because I know we're going to get the bell ringer on that. We've passed it on 2D. And here comes Legoland, which I absolutely <laughs> love this piece. And this must be a really cool artist. David Tracy. This is Lego's camp lamp. Uh, I'm sorry, Lego color lamp is what it's called. It's really, it's really Legos. It really is. Birch Bark is a bell ringer. Oh, yay! Good. Ring the bells. <laughs> Ring my hey, bell. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so this is Lego Color Lamp. It's at, we're looking for a starting bid of $75. And it really is, oops, it we're really is the Legos. We're down so we could see that it does work. Oh, was that intentional or were yeah, you just playing off? Yeah, that was intentional. Oh. I'm not that magic. <laughs> okay. Alice did that for us. All right. <laughs> How cool is that? Now, look. Isn't that so pretty? What I love every piece it's of like this crystal. lamp is made out of Legos. This shade that looks like it's crystal is those little clear Legos, and not just those big brick Legos, but those little tiny ones that only have the two little tips on them. Do you know what? I, I love this now. That is so Isn't it elegant? cool. It is elegant. I cannot believe you said that. It, it is, is elegant, it's and le it's Legos. Legos can be elegant. It, it really is. I love David Tracy. He gave us, um, now he's he's fairly well known for this medium. He's shown internationally. He um, he also did Legoland, right? Yeah, Lego. they have, uh, the Lego company has commissioned him work. His piece has appeared in a couple, I think it was an HBO special. I can't remember the name of it now. But um, he also showed at MySpace at, at Archival Gallery. Um, he's really well known for these lamps. And he donated the very first lamp he made when he was 19 years old. Oh. And now he's graduated with a degree in engineering. He donated to the KVIE Art Are you kidding me? We sold it years ago. That is so Isn't that sweet? nice to hear. And so he's still donating. And, and he it's could go to your house right now for $75 is what we're looking for to start it. And if you're not, he does these in about six different colors. There's a white and a black and a red available. I picked the blue because it's PBS blue. If you would rather have it in the black or the white, you can exchange this one for that color. You know, I know a lot of adults who still wish that they could play with Legos. And I bought one of these for my son. I know, he's right? an engineer. I mean, you could have this and, and be a lifelong showing that you're a lifelong Lego lover. $100, um, by the way. Yeah. In December, he's going to come out with a kit that you can actually build. But it won't be this but one. But it won't be this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so this can be yours as early as tomorrow. I mean, if you're like a... I don't know, an architect or a designer or an um, engineer. What a fun thing to have on your desk. Yeah, work. and regardless, it's a conversation piece. Yeah. And you nailed it and, when you said it looks like crystal. Yeah, it does look like crystal. And people always say the same thing when they first see it. They go, is it all Lego? Yeah, and it is. Like every single Every bit single of it. thing except the electricity and the cord. $100, and it is gorgeous. It is a beautiful Lego color lamp. There come lights. the lights back on. Let there be light, but let there be Lego light in your home forever if you call the number on your screen you and that support. Whole Lego my lamp. Uh, I, <laughs> Lego my ego. I like this $100 Lego color lamp. It's a retail value of $300. These are nice lamps. They're not, they're also very sturdy. Yeah, by the it's way. not a mass produced item. It's nice to have a piece of functional art. Oh, wow. You know? it's, it's heavy. Oh, yeah. I did no, not expect that. I thought it would be light. It's yeah. really heavy. It took a lot of Legos to build that Okay, lamp. we are turning things over to the phone bank with David Lowe. Hey, David. Hey there, Rob. I saw that Lego lamp at the preview party that we had last Thursday, and it was amazing. And as Dee said, you if you're the winning bidder, you can actually choose a different color if you want. You can get it in white or black, but it is also amazing in blue. It's such a great thing. So call in right now. The bidding is still open. Call the number on your screen, and you're going to have a great time when you talk to one of our phone bank uh, 
volunteers, they're ready to take your bid. You can be the high bidder right now when you make that call. Back to Rob and Dee. Did I hear that right? Did David say if you want the other color, you can swap it out? Yeah, we That never it. happens on the auction, Yeah, the he did a whole series of these, and there's one of each color. Um, we showed them at my gallery, which is archival. So if you're not partial to the um, PBS Blue, which I really like. Oh, I got it. Um, it does come in black Sorry. and white and red. <laughs> And okay. you can bring it. In, you can bring this one into the gallery and exchange it for I a color. I love it. I have, oh, look, D, it's up to two hundred dollars. Lego color lamp, a retail of three hundred dollars. We have. Oh, and it's well surpassed Bell Ringer on Birch Bark Revisited. Again, I have to reiterate, this is a heavy, sturdy lamp. It is not what you'd think about Legos. Oh, no, it's a great little lamp for a desk or a side table. I just think it's kind of a fun conversation starter in an office or okay. something like that. Or it's in a, a kid's room. Piece. And this entire auction is going to be fun. The studio's rocking and rolling. They're bringing lots out. And stay tuned because there's more art coming up in the next half hour right here on the KVIE Art Auction. Good hour, D. Welcome to the 38th annual KVIE Art Auction. Join us all weekend for a celebration of Northern California's visual arts. Over 260 pieces will be auctioned off to the highest bidder, and you can be part of the auction by watching and bidding on your favorite pieces. View the entire collection online at kvie.org slash art auction. Then when your favorite item appears, call 1-844-KVIE-ART to place your bid. Auction proceeds benefit the programs and services of KVIE, your PBS station. So thanks for watching and bidding. And now let the auction begin. Picking up your purchased art is quick and easy to do. Visit KVIE Studios Saturday through Tuesday during these posted hours to claim your art. All purchased art must be claimed within 30 days of auction closure. For questions, location, and hours, visit kvie.org slash art auction. Thank you for being part of the KVIE Art Auction and for making art a part of your home today. Stay tuned for the Award Winners Collection, coming up next on the KVIE Art Auction. This category features current and past award winners from the KVIE Art Auction that were carefully selected by the jurors and the curator. View all of the art featured in this year's Art Auction at kvie.org slash art auction. Welcome to the 2019 KVIE Art Auction. I'm Christina Salerno, and over the next half an hour, you will have the opportunity to bid on and buy original works of art featured in this award winner's collection. This portion of the KVIE Art Auction is sponsored by Crow & Decker, and we would like to thank them for their commitment to supporting the arts on KVIE, your PBS station. And now, here's an overview of the art that will be up for bid during the next half an hour. Item 3A is Pink Lily by Anna Barber. This is photography measuring 29 by 39. It was framed by Choice Framing. The retail value is $350. Item 3B is Flowers from Gretchen by Marilyn Eager. This is oil on canvas measuring 28 by 34. It was framed by Choice Framing. The retail value is $950 and it was a first place in still life. Item 3C is Big Bunch of Carpet Roses by Leslie McCarran. This is oil on canvas measuring 28 by 28. It was framed by Choice Framing and the retail value is $850. And it was a drawer award for still life. Item 3D is Flower Party in a Vase by Vicki Foote. This is an acrylic on canvas measuring 34 by 28. It was framed by Choice Framing and the retail value is $500. Item 3E is Timber Cove View by Joe Stratton. This is acrylic on canvas measuring 25 by 38 and it was framed by Choice Framing. The retail value is $600 and it was a juror award in still life. Item 3F is Viminana Metal Lamp by Frank uh, Barrera. This is mixed media measuring 19 by 12 by 12. The retail value is $350 and it was a juror award in sculpture. 
During this break, we are pleased to be joined by Maureen Hood. She's a well-respected Sacramento area artist. Maureen also exhibits in Palm Springs, California. She is a past Best of Show winner at the KVI Art Auction and exhibits locally at Archival Gallery. Welcome, Maureen. Hi, nice to be here. We're so excited to have you. So let's jump right off and start talking about Pink Lily. What can you tell me about this? This is a stunning piece. As you can see, we've got this huge, beautiful Pink Lily right here. All the pinks are so dynamic all the way through. And this is a photograph. Wow. It's a beautiful piece. And the frame, this was framed by Choice Framing. We were it actually was. just chat chatting with the framers over there. They're here today. And they said they chose these. There's different mats, as you can see. There's three, three or four different mats here that really make it pop. And it has this beautiful white frame. Um, can you talk a little bit about the, the perspective of that? What's really interesting about this is this is not a photograph of a still life arrangement as one arrangement. Uh, she takes pictures of flowers of all different kinds and then works with the Photoshop program to put them together in these beautiful arrangements. Wow. So here she's made the lily the center of attention and then backed it up with a few smaller ones. But as she's done that, she's taken and arced these different colored flowers over the top to further draw the attention down to this lily. So Your eye really, goes right there. Oh, you just really right, zoom right in. This is a, a really good size piece. This would look lovely. I mean, this would really dominate a room. It would really make beautiful. a beautiful uh, centerpiece of any room. Um, it has a value of $350, and right now we have a bid of $300, which is amazing. So we're only $50 off from this being a bell ringer. It's really close to being a bell ringer. I absolutely think it will be. I do, too. And I think, I think what's happened here is we've got this distressed frame mm -hmm. around the outside, the layered mats that complement all the coloration inside, and this very dark background just creates this stark effect of these flowers just coming right towards you. It's very interesting. It's a beautiful piece. I it think would, so. Yeah, it would really be a, a showstopper in any home. Um, like we said, there's a bid of $300. It has a value of $350. If you want to get in on this bid, please just call the number on your screen, 844-KVIE-ART. Um, what else can you tell me about this? What I think is really interesting, too, is it's not bound by the border down here. She's taken it off the edge and created these shadows on the white background, which gives it a little more interest. So I think that's that's her artistic license, taking the photograph and taking it even farther than just a photograph. Oh, that's really neat. I love it. Now, Anna is an award winner at the California State Fair as well. Oh, nice. She does some very interesting things in, in abstracting the photographs. So um, her work is out there. So it's it's, it's something that she's known for. Excellent. We're going to go ahead and check in with the phone bank. Okay, I am in the phone bank with the famous Lego lamp, which is now a bell ringer. Yay. The Lego lamp by David no, Tracy is at 450. We have an active auction going on. It's got a retail of 300. I wanted to show it a little bit more so you could see that it is actually a lamp. And um, it, I don't have it plugged in right now, but it's fully functional. It just takes a regular light bulb. We're at 450. I'd like to see it get to 500 and make it our biggest bell ringer of the night. David Tracy, again, thank you for one of your fabulous Lego lamps. Let's go back out to Maureen. Hi, Maureen. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I love that Lego lamp. My toddler would love that. That's great. So we're still here at Pink Lily, and we were just talking about the mood that this evokes, because oh. it definitely stirs up some emotions in you. How, do, how does it make you feel? Well, I was talking about the contrast between the lightness and the shadows and, and the brightness of this lily. This is stark light on this lily. But then you it's so mysterious behind, so you kind of think, what What's going on here? You know, why has she put this beautiful, bright, cheerful thing against this black background? Oh, what is yeah. what is being hidden behind here? Exactly. So you want I wonder what the thoughts are behind it. So that and that creates the mood. It does. And the lighting, you it feels like you have sunlight maybe coming in from this yeah, angle. From a window or something. For a window. And the shadows are very defined here and create some patterns, which is very nice different shapes, this shape in here, these in here, and then it gets kind of dark, but those little purples at the top just kind of pop out. It's lovely. We're gonna keep this one open so you guys can keep bidding on it, but we're gonna move on to our next piece of art. Our next piece of art is item 3B. It's called Flowers from Gretchen by Marilyn Eager. This is an oil on canvas measuring 28 by 34. Um, it was framed by Choice Framing. It has a retail value of $950. And this one, first place in still life. And I think we should start there because that's an absolutely, this is a still life yeah. painting. Yes. 
no oh, doubt. Yeah. Tell me, tell me a little bit about it. Well, I'd like to tell you a little bit uh, about uh, Marilyn first. I mean, she she gets to this point because she comes from a tra traditional farm, and when she's not painting, she's out riding a tractor. <laughs> so she really relates to these natural things. Many too. talents. M many talents. Um, she, and she has uh, a lot of art in public places, Kaiser Hospitals, because this kind of a painting is so soothing. It's so cheerful. It is. It's just so heartwarming that you can see why it would do well in those facilities. Now, this particular painting uh, was a still life painted from a bouquet of flowers that was given to her by her sister-in-law after a very serious illness. So. You can, you can feel the emotional joy that she felt when she received this bouquet. And here it is portrayed for us right there on the canvas. It's beautiful. It's flowers from Gretchen. It has a retail value of $950. We're looking for a starting bid of $250. So that's $250 as a starting bid. It's a really nice size painting. Oh, it's painting. beautiful. I yeah. mean, this is, again, we, we talk about showstoppers mm -hmm. being the center of a room, and this is absolutely one of those pieces. Um, there's a lot of little details in here that we can talk about. Um, that the glass is one. Yes. Glass is very hard to paint, and she has captured the translucent and this is painted from life. She didn't photograph this and paint from the photograph. This was sitting right in front of her and it stayed right there until she finished the painting. Wow. So these are things that she's actually seeing. You can see the liquids in the glass here, the shadows, the reflection. This is a mirror. Here's the reflection of the uh, pomegranate in the mirror. And these repeated circular lines are those reflected from the mirror here. So it's, it's just so well done. Uh, it takes a lot of skill to get these lights on glass and all the shadows. And then we've got the dark shapes here and here that give us some balance and some depth of space, which is really nice. It's beautiful. It's a very talented artist. As you're oh, saying, I there's so. so much detail in this particular painting, a lot for the eye to take in. Let's go ahead and check in with the phone bank. I am here with Sam and Marshall from Choice Framing, <laughs> one of our favorite frame shops that helped out here at the auction this year. They were also an honorable mention award. They did this piece here, and Sam's going to tell us just a little bit about his shop. Uh, Choice Framing has been around since 2007. We've been framing uh, for KVIE for 10 years. Uh, Dee has been... Wow! And Dee has been the curator for KVIE for 10 years, so uh, we're matched with that year. And... Um, we're in Elk Grove, and uh, we just absolutely love what we do. And where's your shop in Elk Grove? Uh, on the corner of Elk Grove Boulevard in Franklin in the Rayleigh Shopping Center. Thank you. And I wanted to ask Marsha a little bit about this fabulous frame job that was one of our better designs. It got an honorable mention. This was interesting when it came into us because the only thing that was on it was a black mat. We thought, gee, the black mat was really nice. However, we needed to bring out some of the colors a little bit better. Of course, we love to play with colors. And we added the color and then a black silk mat that was such intense black. And I thought, well, okay, what color? How, how can I make this look wonderful? And I just thought, wow, a white frame would be perfect. I always think ornate when I think florals anyway. So. And it worked out perfect. Worked right out. now, it's a bell ringer. Pink Lily is at 375, which makes it a bell ringer. It's still open, and you can still bid on it. And please, if you're in, um, where's your shop again? Elk Grove. If you're in Elk Grove, visit our friends at Choice Framing, because they've been very good for us. Let's go to number 3C. Thanks, Dee. We're keeping 3B open, so you can keep calling in on 3B, but we have moved on to item 3C, which is Big Bunch of Carpet Roses by Leslie McCarran. This is an oil on canvas measuring 28 by 28, framed by Choice Framing again, and the retail value is $850, and this was a juror award in still life. This is this is such a nice painting. I love this one. Um, so much to talk about, so maybe Absolutely. let's start with the brushwork. Well, there's quite a, I mean, her brush is very loose in here. She's very relaxed with the paintbrush. Uh, nothing tight about it. We've got some overlaps of color, some canvas showing through. Um, we've got uh, quick lines that she's done here, little quick light strokes there. It's just, it's, it's spontaneous. Uh, she loves to paint things from her garden. She was walking by these uh, uh, roses in her garden, saw them, snipped them all off, put them in a vase, and sat down and painted. 
And this I is love what that. this is what she does all the time. She loves to paint from life. Uh, she likes to abstract it a little bit. And as I was saying, these are very quick strokes. So we don't have exactly the shape of a leaf here, but you know it's a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> and but it's just very spontaneous, very quick, uh, very at ease. She's a, she's very comfortable doing what she does. It's a very casual feel. It makes you feel really relaxed. It's fun. I love the feel that this painting has. Um, it has a retail value of eight hundred and fifty dollars and. Um, Right now we have a high bid of $250. We'd love to see that number go up to 300. This is a beautiful piece um, that would that would absolutely. It's, it's so cheerful. It's so cheerful. It yeah, looks to go it so really wonderful is. in anybody's home. And it's such warm colors. It's very inviting. Yes, I was going to say it is very inviting. These are carpet roses, apparently, uh, from her garden. Um, uh, it's it's a traditional painting, but yet it's very modern. You know the way it's carried out. I kind of like how this rose leaves the top of the the composition here and, and you kind of go well what happened to that top mm -hmm. but but the way it's centered is just beautiful the diagonal lines going down over here and then you've got these two little horizontal buds at the bottom that really kind of stabilize it it's a very clean painting oh, too very. with all of the white frame around the, uh, the the piece it just looks it would look very clean in any home well the colors are very clean too there's very little graying in any of these well, that's true so it, they're they're very good it's a lovely piece. Right now we have a, a high bid of $300, which is excellent, which means we have some bidding going on, which is wonderful. And it's just a reminder that all of the money that's raised tonight goes back to KVIE and supporting your PBS station. Um, so right now, big bunch of carpet roses. She started this with a palette knife, actually, and then went back in with the paintbrush. So we don't see the real heavy strokes of a palette knife, which is a, which is a flat bladed knife, uh, kind of like a spatula, if you will. And you can scoop the paint up with it and smear it on the canvas. So there is some of that evident, um, a little bit in here, but then she's taken the brush over the top and taken some of the, the harshness of the palette knife away. So that's how we get a little bit of the texture in here. You can see a little bit of it left. So From fascinating, the, yeah. really talented artist. We're gonna go ahead and check in with the phone bank. I want to remind everybody, this is an award-winning group here. All of the pieces that Maureen is presenting right now are all award winners. I am standing next to Flowers from Gretchen's Garden, which was first place in the um, still life category. So that was one of five first place winners out of 265 pieces. Um, and this is Gre our Margaret... Huh. Marilyn Eager. I almost said Gretchen Eager. It's Gretchen's Flowers. Um, it has a retail of $9.50. This artist is shown all over the place. This is an award-winning first place in the still life piece right now. I only have a bid of $250. Let's see if we could get that up. It's got a beautiful frame that was professionally done by Choice Framing. Everything at the auction is framed and ready to go home with you tomorrow. Let's head over to 3D and see another award winner. Thanks, Dee. We're standing here with item 3D, which is called Flower Party in a Vase by, by Vicki Foote. This is an acrylic on canvas measuring 34 by 28, framed by Choice Framing, and it has a retail value of $500. This is a really neat piece, and we already have a high bid of $150, so we have some interest in this piece, which is wonderful because it's yes. a great size piece, isn't it? It, it just pops. It does pop. What, just what pops. is it that, that makes this piece pop to you? Well, the splashes of color, <laughs> obviously. Um, this is uh, from Vicki imagination oh uh, as opposed to some of the others we've seen where they actually sit in front Vicki just sits and imagine and then just goes to work <laughs> and so she we just get this beautiful burst of color you know and it's grounded in a vase and we right. have some idea that it's on a table sure but that's not the important part the most important part of this are these flowers and they're bursting everywhere oh, they're they, bursting almost off the side of the, the they, frame truly, here. they truly are and the the shapes look like bursts there, there is not a defined shape in here, but you get the feeling that here's a pink flower with the highlights in it, but it's not the real shape of the flower. So these are truly bursts. This is an acrylic uh, painting instead of uh, um, oil. Uh, she's a, a Folsom artist, so she's local. Nice. And she's a previous donor, and we appreciate that very much. So she continues to give. Oh, it is called Flower Party in a Vase, and you, can, you can see why <laughs> it feel, does feel like a, a party in a vase. Um, it could be a centerpiece. It's almost like a centerpiece on a table, and in your yes. home, this would have that same kind of feeling. Now, what's nice about this, too, it's a very traditional still life, but it has a modern touch to it. 
So this could go in a modern home as well as a very traditional home. You know, you always think of still lives being in traditional homes where there's a lot of, you know, maple furniture and that sort of thing. But this pop of color could go in a white house. Absolutely. You know, so it, it'd be so just So we have perfect. some great news, Maureen. We have a bell ringer oh. over in the phone bank. Excellent. Oh, good. Leslie for giving us such a great piece. That's a good one. I really encouraged her to give us a larger piece this year. It is now up to a thousand dollars. It's an 850 piece, which means it's a bell ringer. We're not closing it out. It seems to be a favorite. It's got a gorgeous frame on it. So let's go talk about another beautiful bunch of flowers out there in the studio. Okay. So we're still here with Flower Party in a vase. Right now we have a high bid of $175. This has a retail value of $500. Another, yes. another interesting thing about this is it's off-center placement. It is. It makes it more interesting. Now, try to imagine it right being right in the middle. It wouldn't be as exciting. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes it more exciting. And as you mentioned, it pops off the canvas here and up there. So it's, it's really pushed to one side. And it draws your eye. It does. It really does. And then this space back here kind of balances out this huge mass of color that's just jumping out at you. And I love the frame. Again, we've been talking a lot about the frames. This was another one done by Choice Framing. But the gold, I mean, it just really, it kind of brings all these colors out. Yeah, it picks them up. So I think it's totally appropriate for this piece. And especially in here, this little richness of color down at the bottom is really enhanced by the gold frame. So I think that works. Excellent. Okay, thank you very much. Um, oh, great. We have a high bid of $400 on Flower Party in a vase. We're only $100 off from that being a bell ringer at $500. And I feel confident that we can make this one a bell ringer. All right. You want us to stay here? Okay. We're going to keep this open. And we're going to move on to our next piece. <laughs> yep. Um, item 3E is Timber Cove View by Joe Stratton. This is an acrylic on canvas measuring 25 by 38. It was framed by Choice Framing with a retail value of $600. It was a juror award for still life. This is a great one. I love this one, Maureen. So this one, uh, Timber Cove View, is uh, actually a real place. It is. Uh, for those of you familiar or not familiar with the California coast, uh, Timber Cove is uh, halfway between uh, Jenner, which is North Coast, and Mendocino. So it's kind of right in the middle. And to get a day like this at Timber, Timber Cove is wonderful because there's a lot of fog there. But it's a beautiful, beautiful location. So this is obviously somebody's found a place to relax because these are ready for us to sit in. Oh, I, yes. I want to go sit in that chair right now and relax. I think so. <laughs> and I think if this piece was in your home, you would have that same feeling of relaxation it, all the time. It's so inviting. You know, you, you just want to come and sit. And everything is so bright. The colors are very clear. They're not muddy. I think what fascinates me the most about this piece are these diagonals underneath the chair. There, you've got your vertical chairs, and obviously their chairs sitting on something. But the shadows that he's captured underneath these chairs are so marvelous. They really they pull you in to look at the chairs right there. They so absolutely do. They and, do. And Joe Stratton is a longtime KVIE art donor. Yes. He's very popular. People he love is. his works of art. Um, and we already do have a, a $250 high bid on this piece. It has a $600 retail value, so there's plenty of room. We'd love to see a $300 bid on this one. Let's go ahead and check in with the phone bank. Base. This piece is at $700. It's got a $500 value. We, we are bidding hot and heavy on the phones. You can't bid if you don't call. Thank you, Vicki Foote, for a great piece, and we're going to sell it off here in a few minutes. Let's look at Joe Stratton's piece one more time. Thanks, Steve. We're still here with Joe Stratton's piece. What else do you, uh, can you tell us about this piece? Um, Joe really likes to paint using the sunlight, so that's why we get these beautiful oh, shadows. Oh, the shadows. So he's captured this. He did take a photo photograph of this, and it is based on a photograph. Um, these diagonal lines that I mentioned are echoed here again in these diagonal lines. So you've got three of them making the perfect composition. Mm -hmm. in There's the a lot to look at yes. in this piece. Yeah. I like how it draws your eye from all over the place. It's very calming too, because you've got the really strong 
horizontals of Absolutely. the pavement down below, the grass, and then obviously the horizon line. So it's it's some, some place you want to be. Oh, it is, yeah. This is a piece, maybe if you're somebody who travels to the beach a lot, it's a place you and your family vacation. This would make a wonderful piece in your home to kind of remind you of those wonderful mm -hmm. times. And it can be yours. Um, right now we have a high bid of $325. We can get that up to $350 or $375. It has a retail value of $600. Um, this is a good size piece. It's quite large. Very nice, very nice. Absolutely. So it could, it could go well. Well, in, in any kind of home, maybe a beach home, a second home. I think so, yeah. And beach all the exactly. proceeds, yes. as we talk about, go to KVIE and supporting the programming that you love. I think this one is um, uh, very relaxing in its horizontals. You're, you're wondering, how long can I sit there? Yes. Because it's just, these are cool, cool colors, but they're highlighted over here by the warm colors of these diagonals. So the complement is really a, a nice one there. And the cool greens, the cool ocean, but then you've got this neutral gray at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's a warm, you, despite the cool colors here and here, uh, it's a very warm feeling because of the sunlight. And that's what Joe likes to do. He likes to emphasize the sunlight. Well, we're up to $400 on Timber Cove View. Um, so we're gonna keep this one open. You can keep calling and keep bidding on Timber Cove View. And we're gonna move on to our next piece. Okay, our next piece is item 3F. It's called Vimana Metal Lamp by Frank Barrera. This is a mixed media piece measuring 19 by 12 by 12. The retail value is $350, and it was a juror award in sculpture. This is a pretty cool piece. There's a lot to talk about here. There really is. Where should we start? Should we start with what it's made out of? We could do that. Um, uh, Frank makes things out of found objects. Wow. And so he makes trips uh, all around town. He makes trips to the hardware store. Uh, most of this material is metal. Uh, these are some uh, metal screens for our fans. You've got little light bulbs here. This is lit, by the way. This is a this real is a lamp. light. <laughs> this is a light. And it's an, it's an indoor piece. It can't go outside. And it can be lit uh, in any room. He, he thought an office or um, an, it would be very good in an office or a library, I think, was the other suggestion that, that he That would made. be, yeah, it would really dominate a room. We're looking for a $100 starting bid on this piece. It has a retail value of $350. Um, so to get the bidding starting for just $100, call the number on your screen. We have D over here who's getting ready oh. to show us the magic. Oh, I got to open a little door. <laughs> so, um... This is a real lamp, which can be used in any kind of home or office or library, and it has quite some warm colors. <laughs> it's it's the, a one secret little thing that I'm finding. But. Vimanas, we learned that Vimanas are flying chariot with, with, vehicles for ancient East oh, Indian it. gods. And they are mentioned in the Mahabharata and the Ma Ramayana, which are two major epics of ancient India. Wow. So he, uh, Frank is really into these little flying chari chariot houses. He's into Indonesian spirit houses and fairy temples. So this is one of the, uh, this is one of those three types of sculptures that he makes. So we've actually turned the lights down in the studio so you guys can get a good look at what this lamp looks like. We've turned the lamp on. It puts off a really beautiful, warm color. Warm I mean, it's is something that, yeah, yeah, it's very warm. It's something you would want to sit next to, read a book. Um, it would really throw off some gorgeous light inside of a home. It's kind of got a coppery look and a coppery feel. Um, again, we're looking for just a starting bid of $100 on this piece. It has a retail value of $350, a starting bid to have this wonderful lamp in your home. What else can you tell us? about it. These little doors open. I don't know if you noticed that Dee was here opening the little doors, so they open. Um, it, it's uh, been polished. This is a lot of polished copper. Uh, there's a lot of sil silver colored metal here and bronze. He likes to add patinas, which make it look aged. So there are portions of this that look very aged. Um, he um, he says that sometimes the trip to the hardware store is his most exciting adventure of the day. And he goes to the hardware store and finds very interesting screws and nuts and decorations. But some of these things you don't find at hardware stores. No, you don't. Well, it's a really neat lamp. We're going to leave that open for you guys to bid, but let's check in with the phone bank. I'm over here with Timber Coat View. 
It's currently at $650. It has a retail of $600. We're still keeping it open. It's got a beautiful frame on it from Choice Framing. You can call and bid now at 844-584-3278. We're going to take another look at that lamp. That lamp would be so cool in a kid's room if you really liked Harry Potter. So yeah. let's look at that lamp again. <laughs> absolutely, Dee is absolutely right. This would this would be a really cool addition to a kid's room. Really, any room. I mean, I you walk so. in a room and see this light, you're going to stop and want to talk about it. Yeah, it's a talking piece. It absolutely um, is. I find these crystals here very interesting. And the one at the top, there's got to be something going on here under this little thing. I feel like this is just going to lift off the ground, almost like a rocket. <laughs> and there's got to be somebody living in here somewhere. <laughs> Probably. So and it's very large. You can see compared yeah. to us that this is a very good sized lamp. Um, we have a high bid of $100, which is excellent. So we've got the bidding going on this lamp. But it does have a retail value of $350. So we'd love to see that number go up to $150. Um, this is a wonderful, beautiful, warm lamp that you could bring to your home and turn on as early as tomorrow. Tomorrow. This is a one of a kind too. Oh yeah. You, you the, you're just not going to see anything like this anywhere no. else. Although, fr uh, although Frank does this type of uh, vehicle, if you will, over and over again, they're never the same. Wow. So he he changes them all the time, and they're all different materials, all different colors, um, all different distressed pieces. Some of these are varnished so that the copper will stay uh, copper colored rather than gaining the patina that copper does. It's just fascinating. These little tiny pieces here, did you see that these on the stairs are so interesting. There's so much detail and we're going to leave this. We have a lot of calls in the phone bank. We're going to leave this one open so you can keep calling on it. Uh, Vamina Metal Lamp has a high bid of $150, which is fantastic. I hope you guys get to take that home. And stay tuned because there's more art coming up in the next half an hour in the KVIE Art auction. What's wrong with following the proven method? Isn't that the surest way to produce satisfactory results? Today, simply producing satisfactory results isn't good enough. We live in a rapidly changing landscape. Those changes require new solutions. Innovation challenges the idea that old solutions will continue to solve today's problems. KVIE is committed to the visual and performing arts through national productions like Poldark and Victoria, to our local production of KVIE Arts Showcase, and the KVIE Gallery, now in its fifth year of celebrating award-winning auction artists and California masters. KVIE's commitment to the arts stays strong because of your participation as a donor and an art buyer. Thank you for being part of the KVIE Art Auction and for making art a part of your home today. Stay tuned for California's Gold, coming up next on the KVIE Art Auction. This landscape collection celebrates the beauty of California in all media in tribute to Huell Hauser. View all of the art featured in this year's auction at kvie.org slash art auction. Again, I'm Christina Salerno, and we're back with another exciting collection of original works of art up for bid. And during this half an hour, we're celebrating California's gold. And now, here's an overview of the art that will be up for bid during the next half an hour. Item 4A is High Water at Sand Cove Park by Jasmine Shabodny. This is oil on linen measuring 18 by 24, and the retail value is $950. Item 4B is The Bay Bridge by Keith Bachman. This is oil on canvas measuring 36 by 48. It's artist framed with a retail value of $850. Item 4C is Roadside Garden by Linda Abbott. This is an oil on canvas measuring 30 by 30. It has a retail value of $1,200. Item 4D is called Sunny Bee by Barbara Gill. This is a watercolor measuring 20 by 24 and the retail value is $500. Item 4E is In the Shade by Sue Chapman. This is acrylic on canvas measuring 18 by 36. The retail value is $900. Item 4F is Mono Lake by Diane DiCarlo. This is an acrylic on canvas measuring 25 by 21. It's artist framed with a retail value of $400. 
We are pleased to be joined again by Maureen Hood to talk about the art in this California's Gold Brick. Maureen, thanks for being here. My pleasure. Let's jump right in. Let's, Let's talk about right high in. water at Sand Cove Park, which is a real place. It's a real place. Um, Jasmine says her current work, and I'm reading here, uh, looks at the ever-shrinking pockets of Sacramento rural landscape. That's fascinating. And this is a little pocket of Sacramento right here. So this is a real place in Sacramento that mm -hmm. she painted. It's called Sand Cove, and it's a postage stamp size park um, in the bend of the Sacramento River off the Garden Highway. So it really does exist. And this, at this particular time when she uh, captured this, it was flooded. You can see that the water's here and the trees are coming out. There's a lot of reflection right here that a you can A lot see. of refre reflection. These uh, leaves are way up here somewhere. So we're not even seeing those in that in the work this is on linen which is um, a little more traditional um, uh, I won't say an ancient form but people don't use linen very often they put they paint on canvas but what's oh. so beautiful about the linen is you can see the fabric coming through and it adds to the textural quality so it's it's a really classical presentation for the la landscape it's a beautiful piece we have a high bid right now of two hundred and fifty dollars which is excellent it has a retail value of nine hundred and fifty dollars again this is a reminder this is a local place in Sacramento right off of Garden and highway so if you're a Sacramento native or you've lived in Sacramento a long time maybe this is a place you visited and it would remind you of those times it's really a nice um, local artist featuring a local place here um, it has an interesting kind of frame where the, the piece looks like it's almost floating inside the middle of this right. frame which is really beautiful well it kind of goes it floats with the whole subject as well because it is a floating it's it's water it's floating and what they've done is they've floated the the landscape within the frame too there's a space here you can see that so it's very nicely done and it's subtle mm -hmm, the frame it is. is subtle so it does not take away from the subject here i think what i find fascinating about this piece of course to me are the diagonals i mean these coming back and forth and then they're reflected here but they're reflected in little dots of color rather than the linear quality of the tree trunks so it really gives us some variety and here they're distorted with the water a lot of brush strokes too very fluid very free very relaxed it's a very it's a beautiful piece we love this one let's go ahead and check in with the phone bank Another bell the last is a bell here with some fabulous peeps from Crow and Decker. They're all volunteers. They're waiting for your phone call. You can call them at 844-584-3278. I've got a bit of 250 on the high water at Sand Cove that the ladies are talking about right now. And the next one, the Bay Bridge, is already receiving bids. So bid high and bid often, and you can't win it if you don't call and bid it. So let's go back out to the ladies. Or calm. Thanks, Dee. Let's talk a little bit more about this piece. What, what can you tell us about it? Um, I think it's very calming, as you can see. I talked about the diagonals, but there's some very strong horizontals as well. The water, obviously, is going to, in this particular position, give us some horizontals in here. So it's very calm. It's very peaceful, although flooding is not a wonderful thing to be around. <laughs> That's true. But we, she's captured the beauty but of the water. But she's captured the beauty. It is a natural thing that I happens in Sacramento. So. So. And, and then we've got the cool, cool color here as opposed to the warm colors at the top so it gives us a nice balance from top to bottom. Uh, there's some beautiful rust orange colors I up love at the top it, yeah. that go down to the greens and the blues down there. Um, right now we have a high bid of $275 on high water at Sand Cove Park. It does have a retail value of $950. Mm. Um, I can hear those phones ringing over there so I know that people are calling in. Um, remember you only have a few minutes on these pieces so if this is a piece that you would like to have in your home please give us a call as soon as you see it on the screen. We're gonna keep this piece open so you can keep bidding on it and we're gonna move on to our next piece. Our next piece is item 4B. It's called The Bay Bridge by Keith Bachman. This is an oil on canvas measuring 36 by 48. It is artist frame with a retail value of $850. This is a really neat piece. And, and Dee was just saying, we already have people calling and interested in this one. And, and you, you'll be able to see why. This is a really stunning, large piece. Very large Very piece. large piece. Yeah, I think our cameras are backing up so we can fully get it in the screen. But what can you tell us about it? It's exciting. It is. I mean, the whole piece is exciting. The subject is something that we know and we love, and the brushwork and the paint and the color 
just really excite the viewer. So this this is a stunner. You can see you can see how large this is. Um, it's quite a large piece. It's 36 by 48. Um, it would easily dominate a large space, a yes. large wall. Um, perhaps somebody who who has some connections to the Bay Area, who is from San Francisco, um, this would be a piece that perhaps speaks to them and, and would look lovely in their home. But this is this is an icon too. Absolutely, we all know this. And um, Christina and I were talking before. This is probably on the San Francisco side. It looks like yeah. Exactly. Yeah, we, it looks we're like thinking it's on there. The, 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 the span that's still there that's the original part of the, the original Bay Bridge. And it's looking from underneath, too. I mean, we, when driving across, we usually see it from the top. We don't see what's down underneath. This would have to be taken from a boat. This view has to be seen that direction. So, Keith, as I understand, this was a, a photograph, and then he used his imagination to, mm -hmm. to, to move upon it. Um, you had mentioned the, the paint and the brush strokes there. There's a lot to talk about there. Um, it's a very thick colored or a very thick paint on there. Yes, it's an impasto painting. Um, it is done with brush. You can see the brush stroke, but we've got paint in particular areas that's almost half an inch thick. Wow. Um, so it's it's a very dynamic piece. These very strong reds here are very thick paint. Uh, the swirls in here, the blue, the the contrast of the blue and the red, these is, this is very thick paint. So it creates an excitement. There's a lot of movement. Um, you know, on a, uh, like you say, it's large and on a wall by itself in any kind of decor, it's going to command some attention. Oh, it absolutely will. It could even be an office. I mean, it's such a large oh, piece. Definitely. It could be in an office as well. Keith Bachman is a longtime contributor. He always contributes these big, bold, beautiful pieces that are also very popular. And yes. we have a lot of people calling in on them. Um, right now, we have a high bid of $500 on the Bay Bridge. It does have a retail value of $850. Um, we just went up to $525. So people are calling in on this one. And if you want to get in and have this piece on your home or your office, just call, call the number on the screen. We've got a nice contrast in this one, too, between the warm colors and the cool colors. So it gives it a lot of dynamic, out, uh, uh, dynamic uh, output. Uh, cool waters in the ocean, obviously, reflected here and then here again with the cool colors. And then you've got these nice sparks of reds and oranges repeated all the way down, and the diagonal just pulls you in one direction and then the other. So it's just, it's a... The brush strokes are just so exciting. It's a it's a very <laughs> exciting piece, and, and there's going to be a lot of excitement for this one. Right now, let's go ahead and check in with Z at the phone bank. We are here doing an hour of California Gold, which is one of everybody's favorites. I have right here High Water at Sand Cove Park. It's currently at $400. It has a $950 value. The Bay Bridge is sitting at $575. It's got an $850 value. I've got a couple people bidding on the phone. This whole hour is for those of you who love our California landscape. But you can't own it if you don't call 1-844-584-3278 and place your bid or register to bid for the next hour. Let's go back to Maureen and hear more about that fabulous bridge. It is a fabulous bridge, the Bay Bridge specifically, and we're now up to a hybrid, a high bid of six hundred dollars. What can you tell us about some of the detail down here, Maureen? Well, this is really a nice contrast. This, all this nice little de detail is so whimsical. This is so powerful. It and is. The sky is so powerful. And then you come down here, and you've got all these nice little buildings, and they're so delicate, almost uh, very small little spots of color that just pop all along the bottom of this. It creates a whole other area of interest for us. There's a lot to look There's at here. A lot it's to beautiful. Look at. Let's keep this piece open. Um, it's already up to 625. I expect this one will be a bell ringer. But let's keep this one open to keep bidding and move on to our next piece. Our next piece is um, Roadside Garden Item 4C by Linda Abbott. This is oil on canvas measuring 30 by 30 and the retail value is $1,200. Um, for Roadside Garden, we're looking for a starting bid of $400. And this is neat. I really like this piece. It has Beautiful. a great backstory. Maureen, would you like to share the backstory of this? Um, uh, Linda is a plein air painter. That means she paints outside right on scene, takes her paints around with her, sets up and starts painting. And that's really difficult because the longer you paint, the more the light changes. And you can see this is a clear day, so it's going to have sunlight. Mm -hmm. And the shadows are going to change. So it has to be very quick. So we can see that a lot of these brush strokes are very spontaneous, very quick dabs, long, broad strokes, so that it can be done quickly and capture the moment. 
I love this piece. Um, I, I believe it was painted in Idaho, as yes. we discussed, but it also has a feeling of the High Sierras. This is something that you would see out here in California in the High Sierras. So maybe for this is for a viewer out there who, who has some connection to the mountains, to the Sierras, and having a piece like this in your home would remind you of those wonderful times you spent backpacking or outside camping with your family or hiking. Um, it just has that really wonderful feeling of bringing the outdoors inside. Well, Linda was inspired uh, her whole life to do this kind of painting because she was raised in the Yosemite Valley, which is California, you know, and California gold. Even though this one was done in, in uh, Idaho because she did live for a time in Idaho, uh, uh, in Montana, I'm sorry, and she uh, painted this in Idaho and her husband worked at Yosemite, or uh, Yellowstone. Yellowstone, <laughs> very sorry. neat. Oh, I want to take there. a minute to point out that we have some really exciting news. The Bay Bridge, where we just were previously, the Bay Bridge is beyond bell ringer status. It actually has a high bit of $1,300. There goes the bell. That bell's for the Bay Bridge. Another bell ringer. I am standing here in front of Keith Bachman's piece. Always a favorite here at the auction, and he always donates. Even though it is a bell ringer at $1,500, we are still taking bids on it. This is a great group of artwork. You can't get it if you don't call. These go really fast. We only keep them on air for about five minutes. Again, Keith Bachman's Bay Bridge is up to $1,500. Let's go look at that spectacular landscape out there with Maureen. Thanks so much, uh, Dee. We're with Roadside Garden. We're looking for a starting bid of just $400 to get this piece going. Tell me a little bit about the, the diagonals here. They're very strong. You can see she's captured the diagonals here uh, in the rocks moving down. A little bit of contra diagonal, contra pro, uh, contraposto here with this and there. The, ver the verticals calm that down. So we're not feeling like we're going to slide off here. They give us some stability. Um, the warmth of the color up in here contrasts with these cool greens, which is it's nice. I mean, she's capturing nature. This is what she sees. She's not making this up. And if we were there, this is what we would see, too. Mm -hmm. She does. It has a very realistic feeling oh, to it. Oh, it does. It, it does. could be a photograph, almost. Yeah. You talked a little bit about how much you liked these flowers. I love the flower detail down below here. There's so many little pops of color. I think so. These are the little purples that come in. And what that does is that reflects a little bit of this pinkish sky. So she must have caught this either early morning or as we were headed towards sunset. It has one of those skies. It's a beautiful piece. Roadside Garden. We're looking for a starting bid of $400. Again, this has a retail value of $1,200. And just a reminder that the artist donated these pieces um, with all the proceeds going to KVIE and going to the programming that you love and are here to support. Um, this is, these are original pieces of art that would look lovely in anybody's home. This is a good size piece. It is. It's Could a very be over nice a mantle size. or a living room. Very nice size. It's a, it's a really nice size. And, it, and it's another one of those uh, kind of floating frames that we talked about. Exactly. Let's go ahead and check in with the phone bank. Hi. I wanted to let everybody know this auction is put on by volunteers. This is Jason and this is Michael, some of my art movers. The art is professionally framed, moved, and packaged when you come and pick it up, which you can do tomorrow from 11 to 5. We've got our phone volunteers. They're all here to take your bids. Right now, the Bay Bridge is at 1500 Roadside Garden. We're looking for 400 on that, and we have 650 at High Water at Sand Cove Park. Let's take a look at some beautiful sunflowers. Thank you so much, Dee. We're standing here with item 4D, which is called Sunny Bee by Barbara Gill. This is a watercolor measuring 20 by 24, and the retail value is $500. And Sunny Bee, you can see, is titled appropriately, because as you see, there's a little bee right in there. Here it is, right here. <laughs> and I think there's another, another little one down there's here, There's two bees. Too. They're very nice, but they're subtle. They're subtle bees. They're subtle. Yes. Yeah, this is such a warm, happy painting. Um, these sunflowers, are not in your face sunflowers. They're just, they exist, they take in the sun, they exude that warmth. Uh, this is actually from uh, Barbara's garden. Uh, she's quite a gardener. Uh, she takes things from her, she passes something in the garden and there it is. And she encourages the bees to come. So these sunflowers are certainly bringing our dwindling popula population of honeybees to where they can be happy. Oh, absolutely, yes. Maybe you are a backyard beekeeper yourself and this piece would be a wonderful reminder of that. Um, right now it has a high bid of $150. Nice. Actually, it has $175. We're going up already. It has a high bid of $175. as a retail value of $500. I know this artist personally and she's had three bell rings 
singers in KVIE art auctions in the past. Well, we thank we, her for donating. We thank her for donating, and we hope that this one reaches bell ringer status as well. Um, what else do you, we were talking about the warmth of this piece. It is, it's, it's a watercolor. This is all watercolor here in the background, but she's very skillfully taken some ink uh, inks as well, colored ink and black ink, and added some linear quality in here to give it some detail. This is this is hard to do with a water medium. The watercolors are not easy because if the watercolor is too wet, it bleeds into the next color. If it's too dry, it makes too stark of a line. So this is really a skilled painting. Um, in here, she emphasizes this particular leaf with a little bit of ink, and then this one fades into the background because the ink is not there. So this is very skillful done. And I love the, the color frame. It also has a very natural feel. Again, we're yes. talking about being in your backyard. We're talking about nature and kind of this, this nice neutral color frame. It just adds to the whole piece. It makes it feel like you are outdoors looking at your backyard. Yeah, the coppery tone of it, too, adds more warmth. Uh, it just picks up on the warmth here. We do have a few cool tones underneath as a nice contrast. But the whole painting just gives you this warm, fuzzy feeling. Oh, I love warm fuzzies. <laughs> <laughs> Sunny B, it's up to a high bit of $275. Let's see that number get to $300. $300 for Sunny B. Um, it's a good size piece. This oh, would be, nice. oh yeah, this, this is one of those pieces that's the right size to go in really any room. You could do kitchen, maybe looking out your window to your yard, um, maybe next to a window in your living room or, or a bedroom. It could be bedroom. a lovely bedroom piece. I was thinking, very calming. Very calming. That's true. The colors here are very yeah. calming. You could wake up to that every morning and just kind of have an optimistic outlook for your day because it's so warm and cheerful, you know? <laughs> warm and cheerful. We love it. Let's go ahead and check in with Dee in the phone bank. Speaking of cheerful, I'm standing next to your next family heirloom, Roadside Garden. It's a $1,200 piece. The current bid is $600. These guys are busy on the phone bank because this is a very popular segment. We've even got bids coming in on the two pieces that are out there now. We're going to go back and look at Sunny Bee. Sunny Bee is a $500 piece. We're at $275. Never have to buy flowers again just by that painting of those beautiful sunflowers let's go back out to Christina thank you so much Dee and she's right this is a you know you don't have to go picking your flowers when you have them in a beautiful painting like this um, and you can see the colors from across the room this is yeah. something that when it, when you're at the gala when we were walking around you could absolutely see this piece across the room you could Barbara is a, a plein air painter again she paints right on the spot uh, this particular um, uh, she has beds of these plants, so she went out and actually was sitting there painting this. So uh, it, it wasn't on the roadside like the last one we saw, but this one was right in her yard because she is an avid gardener. She's also a member of California Watercolor Association, so um, she's a pro. She knows what she's doing. Absolutely. We're going we're gonna to keep Sunny Bee open right now. We have a high bid of two seventy five. Let's get that number up to $300, and we'll move on to our next piece. Our next piece is item 4E. It's called In the Shade by Sue Chapman. This is acrylic on canvas measuring 18 by 36. The retail value for this piece is $900. This is a really neat piece. This is a good size piece and it's it's very much draws your attention. What exactly is it that draws your attention to this piece so much? It's very graphic. Whereas with the last few pieces, we've had the painterly style mm -hmm. and we can see the brush, stro brush strokes. These are solid areas of color. You know, they're very defined. Defined. The shadows are very defined. The shapes are all defined. And it's an interesting shape, too, I find. This very long, uh, horizontal piece of art. It is. <clears throat> it's something maybe it would be good over a mantle or a couch. It has a very long, striking um, size to it. Yes. I would say the mantle would be a good place. The mantle would be an excellent yeah, place. Yeah, excellent place. And the purples and the... Can you talk a little bit about the colors in here? Because they're kind of unusual. They are. They're very interesting. Usually when you see the light on a, a particular landscape, it's either a white or a yellow or a light green. These are lavender and light blue. And the dark shadows are not black. They're very dark green or dark blue. So it makes it so interesting. It's a very graphic piece. It definitely is. Um, in the shade, we have a high bid of $750. It has a retail value of $900. So we're really not that far off from this being a bell ringer. I certainly expect it to be a bell ringer tonight. We're already up to $750. Let's see that number get to $800. Um, again, this has got this really nice natural frame. Which yes, just, it kind appropriate. Of, it's very appropriate. What is it that's so appropriate about that? Well, it's natural. As, as you said, <laughs> you used the perfect word. Um, you know, if we had a gilded frame on this, it wouldn't go with it at all. But this is very natural. It's a very natural scene. 
scene. Sue says she drove past this several times in her travels wow. and took several pictures of it and then kind of did a combined version of everything that she'd seen there. It's a very strongly horizontal, as I mentioned. Uh, the animals are horizontal, the trees are placed horizontally. But the most interesting thing that I find is this little diagonal cow over here. He ran away from the herd. Uh, yeah, what's he doing <laughs> over there? And there's some even more behind him. There's yes. a little, there's a couple others. There's, there's some perspective there as well. Exactly, exactly. It draws you in along with these uh, smaller trees in the background. So she's been, she looked at this for a long time and decided that she just couldn't let it go by any longer. Well, this one is definitely going to be a bell ringer. We're only $50 off from this being a bell ringer. Right now we have a high bid of, no, there it is. It's a bell ringer. <laughs> Let's go ahead and check in with Dee in the, bell, in the phone bank. bell ringer i've got a ton of people on the phone bidding on this piece right now that's just it's stunning even from across the studio i am standing right next to sunny b the last bunch of flowers you'll ever have to buy because they don't die um it's in a beautiful frame i always love a good floral um what a what a great do you know, have a gardener in your life? I always think art makes a really beautiful present. It's at $350. It's a $500 value. It's item number 4D. Item number 4E in the shade is at $925. Bell ringer. Let's take another. <laughs> it's a bell ringer. Right now they're heading to Mono Lake, which is in a beautiful frame. And Maureen's going to tell us a little bit about that. We're here with item 4F. Item 4F is called Mono Lake by Diane DiCarlo. This is an acrylic on canvas measuring 25 by 21. It is artist framed with a retail value of $400. Mono Lake, we're looking for a starting bid of just $100 for Mono Lake, which is, um, as most people know, it's in the Eastern Sierras. It's a beautiful, a beautiful location, and this yes. is very evocative of that, of that place. What can you tell us about it, Marie? I find this so relaxing when I look at this. You can just, you feel the chill of the morning because you know you've got snow over here, but there's none down here in the lower elevation. So you know you need that coat, but it's just so calm and you can breathe the fresh air. You know that it's clean out there. What I find fascinating too are these very delicate brush strokes here. Um, you can tell that this is foreground because it's so detailed. The shadows provide so much depth so that the grass just kind of jumps forward. Again, up here, you get more shadows. And then they become less apparent as we move to the back because the atmosphere changes a little bit. It does. Yeah. Uh, you keep using the word calming and cool, and I have to agree with you, and I, I wonder if it's the colors, too. The greens and the blues yes. just kind of makes you want to take a deep breath. Um, this is a really nice size painting. This is one that's, um, uh, again, we talk about pieces that would go great in any kind of room, a bedroom yep. or a kitchen, office. office. Yeah, it'd be really lovely. It would also make a really lovely gift. We have Christmas coming up in a yes. couple of months and something like this would be a really lovely gift especially to somebody who maybe spends a lot of time in mono lake or out in the eastern sierras or out near yosemite um, again we're looking for a starting bid of 100 dollars for mono lake but it does have a retail value of 400 dollars um, what else can you tell us about this marine um uh, diane is a re uh, repeat contributor too. We appreciate um, that. We Thank do. you. We do. Thank you, Diane. Um, it is, again, one of those horizontal compositions um, coming down. But these, again, the diagonals, it's those horizontals and diagonals that make a painting so interesting. The verticals occur here in the grass. So the linear quality of this, as well as the shapes formed by the clouds, the shape of this long shape of the mountain, um, it, it's real life, but it's interesting. And that's we know that this happens in nature, and that's why we love to look at nature, and she has captured that here. Absolutely. Ooh, in the shade is going crazy. Let's go check in with Dee in the phone bank. Okay, I have two bidders on the phone right now fighting over in the shade. It's up to $1,150. These are one-of-a-kind originals. You can't get the poster. You can't get the print. When you own it, you own it. So right now, I've got two bidders on the phone. I want to remind you we're going to take it off air. It only stays on air for between five and eight minutes. So you got to call 844-584-3278. Place your bid and if you're not calling to place a bid, register, because your piece is coming up next. Let's go look at Mono Lake. 
Thanks so much, Steve. We're, we're here with Mono Lake, which now is a high bit of $200, which is excellent. We only need another 200 to make this one a bell ringer. We've had a lot of bell ringers this hour, and we want to keep those bells ringing because all of the proceeds, again, go to KVIE and supporting the programming that you love, the dramas and the local programming and the kids' program uh, here at KVIE. Um, Mono Lake, once again, actually, we're just up to $300, which is excellent. We might hit bell ringer very soon. That'd be nice. What else can you tell us about Mono Lake? Um, this was actually done from a photograph uh, that was taken by a friend of Diane's and she was intrigued by it so she went ahead and pursued that um, it, when you work from a photograph you have to intuitively enhance the photograph because the photograph tends to flatten everything out but Diane's done a particularly nice job on this because this by no means is flat it, she no, has, no, it's she's not. brought this whole thing to life we feel like this cloud is coming out towards us so um, she's she knows what she's doing as far as uh, compensating for the flatness of the photograph. So this is real. This is a real place. Mm -hmm. uh, she, 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 her friend saw it, thought she might be interested in it, and certainly enough, she's made us a beautiful painting. It is a real place. I, I know a lot of our viewers out there have, have probably been to Model Lake and have some kind of personal connection to Model Lake. Um, it's, it's part of, you know, the, the California landscape, and it's a piece of landscape that you can have in your home just by calling the number on your screen. Um, oh, exciting news. Model Lake is a bell ringer. That was pretty quick. It's wonderful. We are, yeah. Yes, exactly. We have a bell ringer. It's actually up to 425. There's our bell. There's our bell. <laughs> Mono, we've had a lot of bell ringers this hour, which we is very exciting. That's news. great. That's great. Yes, absolutely. Um, we're going to go check in with Dee at the phone bank. I want to say thank you again to all of our lovely phone bank volunteers. Give yourselves a hand. They've been dealing with a lot of bell ringers. Remember, it's an auction, folks, and you can't you can't win if you don't call in. 1-844-584-3278. We've got some really great California art coming up next with David and Kelly. And so I want everybody to say this is going to be another bell ring an hour because um, I see a beautiful tower bridge from all the way over here. So stay tuned. There's more art coming up in the next half hour in the KVIE Art Auction. Welcome to the 38th Annual KVIE Art Auction. Join us all weekend for a celebration of Northern California's visual arts. Over 260 pieces will be auctioned off to the highest bidder, and you can be part of the auction by watching and bidding on your favorite pieces. View the entire collection online at kvie.org slash art auction. Then when your favorite item appears, call 1-844-KVIE-ART to place your bid. Auction proceeds benefit the programs and services of KVIE, your PBS station. So thanks for watching and bidding. And now let the auction begin. Picking up your purchased art is quick and easy to do. Visit KVIE Studios Saturday through Tuesday during these posted hours to claim your art. All purchased art must be claimed within 30 days of auction closure. For questions, location, and hours, visit kvie.org slash art auction. Thank you for being part of the KVIE Art Auction and for making art a part of your home today. Stay tuned for California's Gold, coming up next on the KVIE Art Auction. This landscape collection celebrates the beauty of California in all media in tribute to Huell Hauser. View all of the art featured in this year's auction at kvie.org slash art auction. Welcome back to the KVIE Art Auction. Hello, I'm David Lowe, and we're in the final hour of tonight's art auction, and then we'll be back tomorrow at noon for day two. But right now, you're gonna have the opportunity to bid on and buy original works of art from the California's Gold Collection, or as Huell would have said, California's Gold. And this portion of the KVIE Art Auction is sponsored by Crow and Decker. And we would like to thank them for their commitment to supporting the arts on KVIE, your PBS station. And when you call and make a bid, by the way, they're going to be the ones answering the phone because their employees are volunteering right now. And now here's an overview of the art that will be up for bid during the next half hour. 
Item number 5A is Golden Beauties, and it's by Gregory Smith. It's acrylic on Kansas, or canvas, not on Kansas. We're going to come back to that. Measures 20 by 16, and retail value of $350. Actually already has a bid of $500, so if you're interested in getting in on that, get your high bid ready. Item number 5B is Standing Tall by Patricia Prendergast, and it's pastels measuring 27 by 21 and it's been framed by Archival Gallery. Retail value on that is $1,200, and we're looking for an opening bid there of just $400. Item number 5C is Valley Rice Field by Janet Wydell. It's acrylic on canvas. Retail value of $430, and we're gonna start the bidding right there at $150. Actually, we already have that bid, and we're gonna start the bid a little bit higher than that. Item number 5D is the Hops Buildings in Wheatland by Bonnie Armstrong. Mixed media, and it is framed by the artist. Has a retail value of $400, and we're going to start the bidding there at just $100, and then move up from there. Item number 5E is Riverwalk by Ed Nordstrom, and it's a photograph, and the retail value is $250, and we're going to start the bidding at $50 there when we get to it, or you can actually call in right now. And then item 5F is Sunset Gold by Maggie, Maggie McGurk. Maggie's gonna kill me for saying that, because Maggie, hi Maggie, I know you. And it's mixed media, media let me try it again. It's mixed media, it's nine o'clock at night. Measure 16 by 20 and the retail value of $400. And we're gonna start the bidding there at 100. So that is what you're gonna see in this half hour and have a chance to bid on. And during this break, we're pleased to be joined by Kelly Rains. Kelly is a regular contributor to the art auction and longtime KVIE employee and art expert with a great background. She's a versatile artist known for her pastel work as well as for her work on the stage and regional theater. Welcome, Kelly. Thank you, David. It's good to be here tonight. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start with item number 5A. It's called Golden Beauties. Tell us what you can about this. Uh, well, what I'm going to talk about first is uh, because of my forays into the theater world, the artist, Gregory, is also an actor in local theater. Uh, so he's one of those versatile kind of renaissance artists where he's got talent in many different mediums. And he painted this piece because he likes the iconographic status and image of the Tower Bridge along with California state flowers, the poppies that you can see down here at the bottom and he just loves how um, the light and shadow played off of the bridge above the river in this piece and already have a bit of five hundred dollars right now so if you want to take this home or put it in your office and you heard the bells that means it is a bell ringer uh, you need to jump in on the action call right now the number on your screen because these pieces move fast uh, and maybe this is someone for who went maybe on the to the tower bridge dinner who might have done that David? you know I did that but there and I can't bid because I'm on air right now but there were plenty of other people who went hundreds and hundreds of people who may want to commemorate that evening uh, with a bid on this piece right now by calling the number on their screen. And even if you didn't go, you could create your own dinner by having this in your home, looking at it while you're having a dinner party with people. Um, it's a beautiful piece. It's a very local piece of a local landmark that we all know so well and love, the poppies. Greg likes to work from photographs he takes in the field, and not just one photograph. Sometimes he combines several different photos so he can get the look he's achieved or looking for. He did that with the poppies and the bridge, and uh, it's just a beautiful piece. Yeah, the poppies are the California State Flower. Obviously, that's part of the golden. And then, of course, the Tower Bridge itself is golden. So that's why you have the golden beauties. Really such a great piece. And then there was something in it that you showed me earlier. And at first, when you told me it was there, I couldn't see it. And then you told me to turn sideways, and I mm -hmm. saw it. What is it? So Gregory likes to put little special surprises, sometimes known as Easter eggs, in his paintings. And so there's a nod to Michelangelo in the paintings. So if you turn your head a little bit left, if you're looking at it straight forward, over here by the right-hand side of the tower is the torso of Michelangelo's David. And which is pretty cool. It's uh, pretty cool. And, and of course, the person who bid $500 right now is pretty excited because they're going to be able to have that and then tell that story to everyone who looks at that piece. But you can be the one to get the higher bid than that. All you have to do is call the number on your screen. If you love this piece, if you love any of the other pieces that we've already previewed in this half hour, don't wait, get on the phone right now, and we're gonna talk a little bit more about it by going into the phone bank. Okay, we've already had a few people that have called a little too late to bid on something. So I'm gonna tell you how it works again. You get on your computer and you go to kvie.com 
dot org slash art auction. Then you can preview all of the pieces that we're going to be selling later on tonight, all day tomorrow, and all day on Sunday. You pick out your favorite pieces and you write down the times they're gonna be on. And that's when you call 844-584-3278. You can also call and register to bid in advance, which will hurry your bid along. So give us a call. Get these guys busy. There's some great California Gold images coming up in the next half hour. We're going to go back to Kelly and David with that beautiful Tower Bridge. That's right, and we're only going to be standing next to it for just another few seconds before we move on to the next piece. So uh, if you're seeing what you like right now and you can kind of see the size up against Kelly and me, you want to call right now. Think about where you want to put it in your house. Think about where you want to put it in your office. Think about maybe a gift for a friend. This is a great local piece. Uh, by a local artist. Local artist. I wanted to read one quote from Greg. Uh, the bridge reflects off the river and the bright but cloudy day opens the California poppies so beautifully. How could I not show them together? And I think that's just beautifully phrased about this painting. Well, we're going to keep this open and you can still call in, but that time is going to go away. But we do have to move on to the next piece. And that is item number 5B. It's called Standing Tall. And this is a pastel. It measures 27 by 21 and it's been framed by Archival Gallery. So when we come back to the live shot, you're gonna be able to see that beautiful frame job as well. And you're going to get that when you call in and bid and win that piece. Right now we're looking for a starting bid of just $400 well below the retail. Kelly, what else can you tell us about this piece? So it's pastels. That is a medium that's close to my heart, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Patricia paints and pastels exclusively as well. Her subject is, to quote her, the serenity of the Northern California landscape. And she prefers to focus on more intimate nature scenes, much like you're seeing here, rather than grand vistas. And this is a section of the American River Parkway near William uh, Pond Park, and it's one of her favorite locations uh, and subjects of her paintings. Which is a place that a lot of people in this region know. As you know, I am a sucker for the art of the region. I love landscapes, but I love local landscapes even more because what's not to love about the Sacramento region? And this is a chance for you to have some original art in your home of a place that you might love. And the bid right now is ready for you because we're waiting for that very first bid of just $400. You can make it happen when you call the number on your screen. Uh, I love the title. It's called Standing Tall. And when I read the notes from the artist, I finally, you know, it really hit home why it's standing tall. She was inspired by all the colors and the textures um, of the vegetation, but she really liked the way a little section of reeds was standing on its own right here in the middle of the river, and hence the title Standing Tall. Again, it's a gorgeous piece and you know if you have any original art in your home you know how much the framing is worth as well and this piece is already framed it's ready to go it's ready to be picked up all you have to do is be the winning bidder on it tonight and you can get it as early as tomorrow but again all it takes is just one phone call to say I'm ready to make that bid ready to make that bid it's a very emotional piece and one of the things that Patricia says about her work it's not written necessarily a photographic representation but a representation of the mood she was feeling when she was in the place and the mood she's trying to convey so it's got that that impressionistic, moody kind of feel to it. So we're going to go in and check in with the phone bank, and Dee is right there standing by. You don't sound that serious. I am here with the lovely Mary Ellen, who is our art captain for today and tomorrow, in charge of moving the artwork, and I am with Golden Beauties, which is currently at 500. I've got two people bidding. You need to call 1-844-584-3278. Give me a bid on that standing tall. I am clear across the studio, and that piece is absolutely Absolutely yeah. stunning. I, 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 Let's take one more look at it in that beautiful frame, Kelly and David. Right, don't let this evening kind of go by without you calling right now. You, you know, we've heard about people who said, I could have, should have, would have. Right now, this has an opening bid of just $400. You could come in, and if you're lucky enough to be that one, you're going to be so excited. Don't kick yourself. <laughs> um, David, as an artist, I think one of the best forms of flattery and praise is, as an artist, I'm looking at this and like, how did she do that? I covet her ability. So they be able to add so many different layers of the pastels and not create a muddy, uh, 
painting is absolutely beautiful. She's expert in it. A little about pastels for people who don't know, it's a dry pigment, and it's the same colors that are in other mediums, like oils and watercolors, but because it's dry, it's the purest form of color that there can be. And this frame right here is vintage. It's olive wood. I mean, this is an amazing frame. The, the frame itself is a piece of art, and it's surrounding another piece of art. And you heard Kelly talk about the pastels and how talented this artist is. And again, this is coming from a pastel artist herself in Kelly, and Kelly's done some very amazing pastels. So for Kelly to be impressed, you should be too is pretty much what I'm saying here. I'm impressed. I covet her ability and her sense of color. Uh, she modifies local colors to create a sense of depth on the flat painting surface. You can see that the warmer, brighter colors in the foreground and the cooler, subdued colors in the background. It creates a distance and it adds like a vibrancy, a romance and mystery to it. Well, this art auction moves quickly, so we're going to have to move on to another piece, but we're going to keep the bidding open right now. And... But we're going to talk about item number 5C right now, which is Valley Rice Fields. And this has a retail value of $430 with a high bid right now of $450. Guess what? It's already a bell ringer. Isn't that amazing? But the bidding stays open. And Kelly, you get to tell us a little bit more about it. This is such a beautiful and emotional piece. This is Valley Rice Fields by Janet Wydell. And a little biographical information about Janet and her work is uh, her studio and most of her artwork was recently lost in the campfire up in Paradise. This piece survived because it was showing in another gallery at the time. She's since rebuilt her studio and she's busy at work rebuilding her portfolio of work. So it's just a beautiful piece uh, of Valley Rice Fields. And that's, you know, that's amazing backstory as well. I mean, obviously, we all know where we were when that happened. And to have an artist's piece like that, that's part of a story. And that, again, that's what we love about the local art, is getting to know a little bit more about the story behind the piece. And this is uh, what's called a gallery wrap that goes around it. Uh, you could still frame it if you want, but it's the kind of piece that doesn't need a frame. It's ready to go in your home or office. And someone already knows that because it has a high bid of $475. And that, again, is a bell ringer but you can still get in on the action by calling the number on your screen to make it happen. She sometimes works in plain air, um, sometimes uh, with art uh, photographs. For this specific painting, she used an image given to her by a friend, and then she saturated the colors of it when she went back to the studio. And her approach to painting is just to follow where it takes her, much like those clouds are leading someone to somewhere special. And I'm sure right now you're looking at where this can go in your home, so turn on all the lights and make sure that uh, you've picked out the right spot for it. Look at all of the colors that you have around. Surely this is going to pick up something from a piece of art that you already have. Or maybe it's even going to be the first piece of original art. Uh, Doug Elmitz is an auctioneer who's long time gone back and he used to say, rip the posters off the wall if that's what you have and it's time for your first piece of original art and wouldn't this be a great first one? It's really beautiful. It's got movement. I love the atmosphere in it. It's got a lot of emotion but there's also some joy in it in the colors that she uses kind of in the middle with these oranges and yellows. And she says that landscapes are her happy place. And one of my favorite things that she believes, and I'm going to take that on too, is that art is subjective and there are no mistakes. Well, I wanted to go back real quick to Standing Tall. When we left that last, that was item number 5B, currently has a bid of $575. So I think people were kind of waiting on the sidelines, which, you know, is okay. It's an interesting strategy. And now it's, and now it's actually, I think it's $700, no, $600. And it's a strategy that may work, but if you wait too long, it might not. So for these people, it worked. It's at $600, but you can still call in on item 5B. And 5C right now has a high bid of, it looks like we're going to update your screen real quick because I see $700. There you go. That is a heck of a bell ringer. And again, a great piece. Someone is going to be happy when they are the final bidder standing. Well, they better act fast because it's a gorgeous piece. Um, one of the things also that she talks about is that one of the best things about being an artist is that she can do anything she wants and then she can change it after that. There's that sense of just changing and doing anything, changing much like these clouds are doing. And what I love are the dimensions of the piece. You've got the horizon and the very kind of lower third of the piece, which really makes the sky expansive and in motion and exciting. It's the kind of piece where you're going to be able to see a lot of it, you know, a lot at it when you are up close, when you step back, when you walk by it. So, you know, this is a great piece. We love looking at it right now. We're going to be sad when you have it in your home and we can't see it anymore, but that's how the auction works and that's okay. Call the number on your screen. It is still open. And we're going to go on to item number 5D, which is called the Hops Buildings in Wheatland. And we are looking for a starting bid of just $100 on this framed piece. Has a retail value of 
$400. This is from the artist Barney, um, Bonnie Armstrong. And tell us a little bit more about it, Kelly. So I've got a little historical background about this and why this is significant. Uh, the processing of hops was an important agricultural industry in California, peaking during the first 20th century, years of the 20th century. And a lot of buildings, much like the one in the painting, were used in the process and were ultimately abandoned. So passing by them frequently in the area, she's always been fascinated because of their interesting shape and appearance. And so when she finally got the chance to go out with her plain air uh, group and plain air means painting out in the field, she just jumped at the chance and painted them before the buildings were demolished. And she painted the scene purposefully with a stormy sky background reflective of controversial California agricultural production methods of the past. And of course, we all know that hops are what go into beer. So I think if you're a beer lover, you should call right now and make a bid. And I'm sure there's no beer lovers out there. There's plenty of beer lovers. Oh, there's lovers plenty of beer there. lovers. That's right. <laughs> and hops, of course, as you mentioned, uh, were grown. And they're actually starting to come back now. And there's a lot of brewers who are sourcing local hops. And they're, and they're even growing their own in their estates. So, um, and maybe even a brewery. Maybe your favorite brewery should call in right now and make a bid. So you can just look at it when you're buying their beer. It's just a, it's just a thought. We're going to check in right now with Dee. I am here with Patricia Pendergrass, standing tall. I am a fisherman and I love to fly fish. And I look at this and I just want to be right about here. Not over there where the weeds are, but right about here. It just reminds me of being out in one of California's beautiful rivers. Right now it's at 675. It's a $1,200 value. It's in a beautiful vintage olive wood frame. It is framed and ready to go home. You can pick it up tomorrow, but you can't pick it up if you don't call and bid. So call and bid. Again, Patricia Pendergrass, Standing Tall, item number 5B. Get online at kvie.org slash art auction and see what's coming up later. Let's go back to David and Kelly. Thanks, Dee. And we're back actually with item number 5D and looking for a starting bid of just $100. And this piece is already framed. And if you've ever gone to a frame shop, they do a great job. But it does cost money to frame a piece. And if you can get an original piece of art, and the frame for just a starting bit of $100, you should be pretty happy. And all you have to do is pick up the phone. Tell us a little bit more about the art. Well, I am very happy to tell you more about this art. And actually, the artist, too. Bonnie uh, is a well-known artist. She is a professional artist, instructor, and designer for over the past 60 years. She has a bachelor's in art and design and years of graduate work in education. She's also well-known to the KDIE Art Auction and is a legacy artist. So she's somebody who knows what she's doing, and it clearly shows in her work. So your screen at home is going to be updated right Right now with that bid of $100, that means we do have that opening bid, but it's not really an auction yet because we really need two bidders at least to make an auction. So make that happen. You're supporting KVIE with every call, with every bid, and you're supporting the programs that you watch all throughout the year. And some of you are going to be lucky enough, 250, I should say, to get an original piece of art and you'll be able to hang it in your home office or give it to a loved one. Right now, item 5D has a bid of just $100. That's the winning bid right now. And you're looking at coming in just a little bit higher and you're going to be pretty happy. It's a beautiful piece. I wanted to talk about how she painted it. She's known for bold textures and impasto applications. And impasto means laying on a process, uh, layers of paint in a very thick painterly way. So that lends itself to the mood and the subject matter of this painting. Even if you don't know that they're hops buildings, there's a story here. There's intrigue. There's mystery. And it's a great conversation piece. And there's a lot of great texture that you've been seeing when we go up close. Uh, it's amazing. It's amazing in person. It's amazing on your screen. It's it's a wonderful piece of art. We're going to check back in with Dee. I am out here with my friend Janet's piece, Valley Rice Fields. Janet shows at the Archival Gallery and is just a super talented artist. Right now, this piece is at 700. I've got people bidding on it. We're lucky to have the piece. It happened to be at the gallery when the fire went through and destroyed most of her studio. Happy to say she's painting again and she'll be showing soon. But it's your chance to own one of Janet's pieces right now, 5C, Valley Rice Fields. It's at $700 and it's just going to go up. So let's go out and see. Is that another tower bridge? That's a beauty. 
It is another tower bridge. I am a sucker for the tower bridge. I could probably get all of them every year, but then I'd have a house full of just tower bridges. <laughs> uh, but this is item number 5E. It's River Walk. It's a photograph uh, by Ed Nordstrom, and it has a retail value of $250. We already have a high bid of $275, which is fantastic for KVIE, fantastic for that high bidder, but there's room for you to call in and get in on the action. Kelly, tell us a little bit more. I'll tell you first what I absolutely love about this is the colors. They're just so vibrant. You've got the gold gold of this bridge. It's lit up at night in this cobalt blue kind of sky. The reflection of all the lights of our beautiful uh, river here. And it's just a beautiful piece. Just from the colors and the composition, we love the tower bridge. Uh, the artist, Ed, he loves urban photography as well as landscape photography. And you've got a perfect marriage of both of those loves in this uh, photograph. What's great about this that I like, so years ago there was a vote and they looked at what color to repaint the Tower Bridge. And the choices were red and green and as it turned out, we all chose gold again, but you know what? Maybe it's not going to be that way in the next 50 years or 100 years or whenever they do it again. So you're preserving a part of history if you're the winning bidder with this and get the Tower Bridge as it is now in gold. As it is now. It's beautifully framed as this photograph is now. Uh, it's an urban scene again, beautiful landscape photography. It's taken from over in the West Sacramento side of the river. Uh, Ed used a Nikon D7100 camera with a, a Tamron 17 millimeter, 50 millimeter lens. This piece was was digitally manipulated using Lightroom Classic CC. The photo was taken at night, and it's a stunning, stunning, captured moment of our river walk, our river scene at night. Oh, it's great colors. I love the blue and gold on it. Uh, it's framed, it's matted, it's ready to go has a high bid right now of $275, but the next bid can be yours. We're going to check back in right now, though, with D. We've got a bell ringer over there on the bridge that you guys are standing next to. And I am standing next to number 5D, the Hops Building in Wheatland. It is at $350, which is only $50 shy of a bell ringer. I'd really like to see this whole hour be bell ringers. These are all beautiful California landscapes. There's another half hour coming up after this one. So you need to get online and see them at kvie.org slash art auction so you don't miss your favorite piece. Again, this is 5D, the Hops Building in Wheatland. It is at 350. We're a little shy of a bell ringer. We're going to go out and take one more look at the River Walk, which is a bell ringer and still available to bid. Let's go to David. That's right. We have a high bid right now of $275, which is fantastic. We're looking for everything to be a bell ringer at the KVIE auction. So this is, but it's actually still open, which means there's room for you if you want to call in right now to become the high bidder. Again, some amazing colors. You've got the blue and the gold, the tower bridge. It's iconic. Everyone instantly knows what it is. They're going to come into your home. They're going to ask you lots of questions about how you got it. And you get to say you got it from the KVIE art auction. And then you're going to be able to tell them about it next year. We're going to build the viewership base. It's going to be amazing. It's framed. It's matted. Kelly, one more thing about this piece before we go. It's really be beautiful. Ed was really smart and thoughtful in the way he took this photograph. He uh, knew the right spot, and he didn't want it to be just all bridge. The bridge is beautiful by itself, but because it's part of the skyline, he manipulated his position so he could capture more of skyline and not just bridge. Okay, so this piece is still open, just like all the other pieces are in the auction until we say they are closed, until you are confirmed that you're the winning bidder. But we're going to move on right now to the final item in this half hour, and it's item number 5F. It's called Sunset Gold. It's by Maggie McGurk and has a retail value of $400. We're going to start it at just $100. Kelly, tell us what you can. Well, Maggie is a friend of the station. She's a longtime volunteer and contributor to the station. Um, her work, she always says about her work, and I love this, that she's trying to reach out with painting and del deliver a message and aspire, much like public television does. Now, this here, I pretty sure that Maggie told me this because I, I know that she lives in, in the Lincoln area and I asked her if that was part of that area and she said yes. So I know we have a lot of viewers in the Lincoln area and if you want some art specifically of your very localized part of the region, this one is for you. It's item 5F. Just call the number on your screen, jump in on the bidding, tell them you want to make a bid on item number 5F. It was done in the Lincoln area overlooking the Butte Mountain Range. It's typical of Maggie's work. Um, it's a mixed media piece. So what she does is she takes a photograph and she lays over acrylic on it um, and she's always trying to capture the feeling and soul of a specific moment uh, for herself and for the viewers of the piece. And again, this is um, 
just looking for a starting bid of $100. And, you know, just like all of the other pieces that we've had in this half hour, it's been a little bit slow start. I think people are kind of waiting if they hoping that if they wait a little bit longer, they can jump in and get that for 100 which if you can, that's great and congratulations. But at the same time, we're trying to raise all the money we can to support the programs that you love. And we'd love these to be a bell ringer. So if you are making a bid right now of just $100, that's well below the value and really just an amazing piece that I'm sure at home you're looking at, where could I put that right now? What I really love about this piece is we've all seen sunsets like this and we always wait for those and they're fleeting moments. And she's captured this fleeting temporal kind of ethereal moment and you can see it at any time you want. You can always go back to that sunset that reminds you of a particular moment. I love that it started life as a photograph because it doesn't look like it did. It looks like it's a 100% painting like that. So knowing that it had that, or that origin and then grew that way is really just an amazing thing. We're gonna check in right now though with Dee. have been bell ringers but they are still open number 5c valley rice fields is a retail of 430 is currently at 800 yay janet uh 5d the hops buildings in wheatland is at 425 that has a retail of 400 and riverwalk is at 350 with a value of 250. i want to explain a little bit about a bell ringer a bell ringer is you pay retail for the piece and anything that you bid above that is actually a tax deductible donation to your PBS station, KVIE. So let's look at three more bell ringers. We're gonna go out and look at 5F, which is Sunset Gold by Maggie McGurk, another great piece of California landscape. It's a great piece of California's gold. <laughs> All of the pieces in this half hour have become bell ringers. Won't you make this one one too? All you have to do is pick up the phone, start bidding, it's that simple. One eight, uh, actually, I was going to say 844-KVIR, and of course, the number is on your screen. One thing else I wanted to share with you, and I'll have to read my notes because I don't want to miss a step. It's about the process of this painting. Maggie was given an assignment of light, and so she wanted to show the light in the situation. She goes into Photoshop, the photograph, manipul manipulates it until she achieves her desired outcome. She then puts it on canvas and paints over it. She likes working with mixed media in her art, and it's, it's a beautiful piece. It's expertly... Uh, got great composition and the colors are so beautiful I want to go to this field and look at the sunset and it has that starting bit of a hundred dollars which is fantastic this piece is going to move uh, it's just a matter of where does it end up now so that's always exciting for us to see and again this could become the final bell ringer of the half hour which means they all would be so if you're interested in the piece don't delay you only have a, a couple of minutes before this piece is gone forever and uh, the number again is on your screen all you have to do though is want it, which I'm sure you do. So then all you have to do is bid. We just want a beautiful sunset. And I've met Maggie several times and she's a joy of a person. And I think a lot of times the joy of an artist and the love of the art goes through onto the canvas from the artist. And I can see that in this painting. Ma right, I think every time I see Maggie, she's always smiling and she's done a number of different things with her art. This, she's made some jewelry. She does a lot of great things. She's a photographer always smiling and I can see kind of the the smile in this paint it's it's just full of love we're gonna check in though right now with Dee I am here with Ryan from Crow and Decker who's been working really hard all night and you've got somebody on the phone yes I'm here with Jay Hefferman he's bi bidding on the hops no building. we don't want to say what he's bidding on somebody might call in and outbid him oh well <laughs> Yeah, has it been? I'm right in the front right is it? Has it been good? It's been really good. Uh, it's been a very entertaining yeah. night, very fun <laughs> night. A lot of uh, good people here. A lot of great art. Um, there's been a lot of attention being, you know, from, from the artists and uh, you know patrons of the artists. And uh, it's, you know, it's been a good. And look at good everybody time. on this row is on the phone, which means if you don't call soon, you won't get in. So we want to thank Crow and Decker again for their sponsorship support. Not only did they sponsor us. Not only did they sponsor this hour, but they sent all these great people out here to volunteer to help us with the phones. And we live for our volunteers. So let's go out and see a little bit more of Maggie McGurk's painting, which is at 175. That's right, 175, which means we've had multiple bids now, and that's gonna keep going. This is the last person standing auction. So until uh, there's only one person left on the phone, <laughs> we're gonna keep going. So stay tuned. There's more art coming up next in the next half hour in the KVIE Art Auction. What's wrong with following the proven method? Isn't that the surest way to produce satisfactory results? Today, simply producing satisfactory results isn't good enough. We live in a rapidly changing landscape. Those changes require new solutions. 
innovation challenges the idea that old solutions will continue to solve today's problem. KBIE is committed to the visual and performing arts through national productions like Poldark and Victoria, to our local production of KBIE Arts Showcase, and the KBIE Gallery, now in its fifth year of celebrating award-winning auction artists and California masters. KBIE's commitment to the arts stays strong because of your participation as a donor and an art buyer. Thank you for being part of the KBIE Art Auction and for making art a part of your home today. Stay tuned for California's Gold, coming up next on the KVIE Art Auction. This landscape collection celebrates the beauty of California in all media in tribute to Huell Hauser. View all of the art featured in this year's auction at kvie.org slash art auction. Again, that's Mike Huell Hauser because we're theming this one for Huell. I'm David Lowe and we're back for tonight's final half hour of live auction excitement in the 2019 KVA Art Auction. And in this half hour, it's going to be more of California's gold. And now, here's an overview of the art that's going to be up for bid during this final half hour of the evening. Item number 6A. This is Sacramento River Afternoon by Bruce Levitt. It's acrylic on canvas and the retail value is $500. Item number 6B is Scribner Bend by Barbara Arnold, and it's oil on linen, and it's been framed by Archival Gallery. And the retail value on this item is $1,200. Item number 6C is Before the World Awakens by Nina Thompson. It's pastels, and it's from Blue Wing Gallery and Framing, and has a retail value of $500. Item number 6D is Sierra Treasure by Velma Davidson. It's oil on board and it's framed by the artist, has a retail value of $1,300. Item number 6E is Laundry Day in Lincoln by Diane Pargament. It's a watercolor, and it has a retail value of $400. And the final item in this half hour is Church Dublin, California by Billy Ward. It's mixed media, has a retail value of $400. So now you've seen it, you've been introduced to the first six pieces <laughs> Uh, in this 30 minutes, and now you know what you get to bid on. So during the break, we're again joined by Kelly Rains, and we're going to talk about some amazing pieces, amazing pieces of California's gold. And let's start, of course, with the very first one, because that's the way it should be, the first one. Item number 6A, Sacramento River Afternoon. Tell us about it. We're so lucky to live in a region with so many rivers, not just Sacramento, but the Delta and the Valley. Um, and for Bruce, uh, much like we love the waterways in Sacramento, the Sacramento Valley waterways are a constant inspiration, and he finds that the weather and light makes for beautiful landscapes throughout the day. And you can see the different touches of light that he uses, and he plays with shadow um, on the trees and in the water for this beautiful, beautiful painting and right now we have a bit of $400 which is already close to being a bell ringer and I can see that this piece is gonna be a bell ringer just like so many of the other ones that we've had right now a current high bid of $400 if you're interested in this piece you only have a few minutes you've got to pick up the phone and call the number on your screen what else can you share so this is typical of Bruce's work he tends to work in landscape and uses a lot of intense color saturation along with sweeping active brushwork and you can really see the sweeping active bar brushwork in the water here in the river. Um, it goes from very fluid and motion kind of uh, brush strokes down to this very still and cool kind of water. So there's a lot of motion and a lot of color saturation in this painting. You know, the blue that he's using here, D, our art curator, the only art cur curator, by the way, on staff of a PBS station nationally, she likes to call it Sacramento blue. Sacramento blue. Which makes sense. It's the Sacramento River. And it's the art of our region. This is an amazing piece. It's very vivid. I love the colors on this, the blues, the greens. It's really, really soothing. Um, the painting was done in studio from previous studies and sketches. So he goes out and he does some studies and sketches and he goes back into the studio. Um, and though he sometimes paints in oil, this piece is done in acrylic. And Bruce is a longtime contributor to the KVIE Art Auction. All of his pieces do really well for KVIE, and this year is no exception. You can see that we already have a bid of $550. It's a bell ringer, and we'll, there we go. We can hear that sound. We love that. And we're in a bidding war because there are multiple people on the phone right now. So if you're thinking, hey, I love this piece, 
think about the high bid that you're going to make. Is it $600? Is it $700? You can make it happen right now. You can make this bidding war escalate, which is a great thing for KVIE. Call the number on your screen to make it happen, but don't delay because it will close in just a matter of minutes. What I love about this painting, it's just so serene, the colors and the contrast that he has and the different kinds of blues um, and the acrylic uh, use that he used and the way he puts it on. He says that uh, it's usually it's his usual medium of choice lately. He likes to complete the painting with a thin coat of glossy varnish, which further brings out the colors and the cohesive look to the surface. And again, these colors are so vibrant. And we have a high bid right now of $675. That's amazing. You know what's also amazing? Or should I say, who's amazing? It's Dee, and she's in the phone bank. I'm really excited about both Bruce's pieces and Barbara's piece that are coming up. There's a group of Sacramento artists that, that sort of imbibe that Sacramento landscape. I think a couple years ago, uh, the Natsoulis Gallery in Davis did a really important show, um, almost coining, you know, the Sacramento landscape movement. Um, a lot of these guys are influenced by Tebow. I know that Barbara, who's coming up next, paints regularly with Mr. Um, with Mr. Condos. And um, who is a contemporary of Wayne Tebow's. So it's nice to have some really good examples of Sacramento landscapes. So we're gonna see Barbara Arnold's right now with David and Kelly. That's right. Uh, item number 6A, by the way, is still open, but we've moved on to item 6B. This is Scribner Bend. Maybe you're familiar with it down in the Delta. Uh, Scribner Bend, of course, is one of the local wineries. And this is by Barbara Arnold, and she's already uh, had a gallery showing at KVIE. Some amazing work. I love the colors on this. What else can you tell us about this? Uh well, one of the things I will tell you that when she had her show here at the gallery, I would go up really close, I didn't touch it, but really close, and look at how she did what she did. It looks effortless. It's absolutely beautiful. You mentioned Scribner Bend is a landmark area here in the Sacramento River. It's about four or five miles south of Freeport for people who don't know. Uh, she is inspired by the views here, views here easily within walking distance of her home, but more often, you see these kinds of images as you're traveling by in your car, and she's captured this moment for those fleeting landmark pieces that go by your window sometimes. And it's framed by Archival Gallery. It's ready to go, so if you're the winning bidder, you can come and pick it up as early as tomorrow. I can see this piece, though, maybe in someone's office. Uh, I've seen a lot of pieces that are like this in some of the great institutions around Sacramento. And right now, this I have a feeling it could end up as a corporate piece. It should be. In anywhere that somebody loves colors and landscapes and shapes, she's so expert at just capturing the outside world and making it unique and special. Um, and also, she knows her subject matter so well. This is an oil and canvas, and it's the fourth version of her interpretation of this part of the world. And she says that she could paint it by heart from memory for her appreciative daily views. So call the number on your screen. We have a high bid currently of $500. That's going to get updated very quickly here. We're going to want to go up in increments, though, of probably hundreds because we're well below the value of $1,200. So have a high bid currently of $500. The next bid that we want to see from you is only $600, which is only half of the retail. So a long way to go before we get there. But this one should be a bell ringer. We're going to check in with D. I am over here next to Bruce's Sacramento River Afternoon. It's a $500 painting. It's got a bid of $750. Thank you for that bell ringer. Um, Bruce Levitt is a longtime donator here to the KVIE Art Auction. We want to thank him again for giving us one of his best paintings. You can only take it home if you call and bid. I've got my lovely phone bank here. I think there's two phone lines open and that's it. So right now we've got 750 on 6A. We're at 525 on 6B Scribner Bend by Barbara Arnold. And we're gonna take another look at that great painting. That's right, we have a current bid of $525. The $25 increments are not going to make it. So if you're thinking about trying to get in at $550 or $575, you want to call in right now with a strong bid, $600, $700, well below the retail value right now of $1,200. And this one should be a bell ringer. It should be a bell ringer. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. One of the things how I learn as an artist is listening to how other artists talk about their own work, which I think is valuable. Um, Barbara is fascinated by color and creativity, shapes and forms. She loves serene images on canvas like this treasured activity, um, and it balances her professional life as an ophthalmologist. That's right. It's Dr. Barbara Arnold. Correct. And she is fantastic. And her pieces are in a number of different settings, uh, obviously in some homes. But uh, some of her work is in some of the companies that are around our great area of Sacramento. 
They should be everywhere. Um, along with the images and how they are viewed, uh, the colors in her paintings convey positive emotions. I, I can't imagine looking at this painting and, and not being happy when I'm looking at it or being soothed and calmed. It's fun. So do you hear that? Kelly is an employee of KVIE. So what we're trying to say is if you have the company credit card and you can make this bid to take to your office and write it off, an employee like Kelly, she'd be happy looking at this, probably more productive at work because she's seeing this on a daily basis. When uh, Barbara's work was here in the KVI uh, gallery, I oftentimes would go out and just take a break just to look at her work because it was so soothing and energetic and fun and joyful. That's right, and I know I did the same thing as well. And when I met Barbara Arnold, I was delighted to see a lot of her pieces. And she had some larger ones, some smaller ones, and maybe that's what you can do. So if you're the winning bidder, this is a chance for you to be able to acquire your first Barbara Arnold and then maybe get some other pieces as well. So we're going to keep this piece open, though. It has a high bid right now. It's just $650. Call in right now. We're going to keep it open, but we do need to move on to our next piece, which I believe is item number 6C. And this is called Before the World Awakens. And this is pastels from Blue Wing Gallery and Framing. Has a retail value of $500 and currently has a high bid of $325. And Kelly is going to tell us a little bit more. I'm going to fawn over it. It's it's a gorgeous pastel piece. It's absolutely stunning. It's it's clean. It's painterly. Um, this piece was inspired by one of uh, Nina's early morning walks in Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts, and she said it was so still, and she captures that. She loved her time in Martha's Vineyard, and she reconnects with nature in a special way and finds emotional renewal there, especially in times of loss. It's a very emotional piece, and it's really beautiful. And again, this is another of the pieces that we've talked about where you're going to see something new in it, uh, depending on how many times you look at it or how far away you are from it. And, and I think your guest will as well if you are the winning bidder. Right now, someone's happy because they have a high bid of $325. Uh, but you can call right now the number on your screen and start that bidding war. She says this piece was done in her studio based on photos, and I love this, also based on her emotional memory of the place. And when you look at it as a viewer, it creates this emotion for you, and maybe you start having a memory of your own special place that is reminiscent of this painting. Well, lots more to say about this, and this piece, of course, is still open. It's a bidding war that's starting, but we're going to check in with Dee, and then we'll be right back. I am here with Patty French, who has actually works with Barbara Arnold. She's a nurse, Barbara's a doctor. But anyway, we're here with Scribner Bend. It is at $1,000. We are so close to hitting that $1,200 bell ringer. We have 6A Sacramento River Afternoon is a bell ringer at 800. There are many bidders on both these pieces. So if you're really interested in the piece, just bump it up $200. Stop with that $50 thing. On 6C, Before the World Awakens, I've got a bid of $325. It's a $500 value. We're going to close down here soon for tonight, but we'll be back tomorrow at noon. So get online at kvie.org and see what you can find to bid on tomorrow. And let's go back and look at another piece with David. That's right. As Dee said, we only have about 15 minutes left tonight. And we have this piece right now, Before the World Awakens, and then three more to talk about. So we're going to do it quickly, and the auction's going to end quickly. You've got to call quickly. Quickly. Um, one of the things I love about this piece, and I'm a little biased because I work in pastels, is that pastels are a very sensual medium, and they're very tactile, and that's one of the things she likes as well. It's her preferred medium for landscape painting. She loves the intimacy of the medium, as well as the neutral, earthy texture, and you can see that in the beautiful way that she's uh, painted this. I must feel like I could walk out into it. Uh, you know, into that expansive kind of bay. You can see it kind of coming into the marsh. I feel like I'm already in the painting. It's very contemplative. There's definitely a mood and definitely an atmosphere. I love the bit of lavender that's going kind of through a little bit above the horizon. And it's just, I see something new every time I look at it. When you see a lot of the different colors, and again, it's something like you said, every time you look at it, you're going to see something different. You're going to always appreciate it. It's got a great frame job. You can see that it's been matted quite nicely. That it looks like to be a double, is that a triple? mat. I see probably a couple, may maybe even a quadruple. I see a couple. There's some depth here is what I'm trying to say. It's beautiful. And the mat, there's a, there's a part of the mat too that's picking up some of the plums and the purples and lavenders that are in there. And it's a stunning piece. Um, she loves pastels. I've said that. Her, her technique with past landscape pastel is to try to get the feel of the place and to recreate what attracted her to the place. In this case, she says, soul silence. Do you see how I let that go? I know. 
That was amazing. We're going to keep this piece open right now. Uh, the bidding continues, but we're moving on to item number 6D, and this is called Sierra Treasure by Velma Davidson. It's oil on board, and it was framed by the artist, so it was two works of art in one. She created the piece of art that you're going to see with the oil on board, and then, of course, framed it in the way that she wanted just perfectly. Right now, we're looking for a bid of just $300 to get us started, well towards the retail value of $1,300. So this painting by Velma was inspired by a hiking trip that she took in the Sierra Nevada mountains and represents the joy she felt as she experienced nature while hiking uh, there. The atmosphere, the quality of light, the golden trees, you can see the golden trees here, and the autumn sparkling lake and majestic mountains and the pristine air. It's a painting of our own backyard here in Northern California. Who doesn't love the Sierra Nevadas? And so many of us, of course, have had the um, opportunity to go out and be one with nature out there. And what a great way to bring it back into your living room, or as we've mentioned before, maybe even an office. Maybe an office, a dining room, a study, a library, any place that you want to bring the outside inside. I'm going to call out the hospitals. <laughs> we have some amazing hospitals in this region, as you know, and, uh, and they also have a lot of original art. They should be tuning into the KVA Art Auction to build their collection. They really should. Uh, I have to quote Velma. I love this quote. She says, painting outside in my backyard, surrounded by the flora and fauna, natural light and shadows, helps me capture the essence of the original scene. And that's what's really special about this. Again, it's capturing this one moment outside that you can take with you anywhere you are and, uh, again, bring the outside in. It's a great piece. As you can see right now, we've got the live shot. This is going to be the centerpiece of a wall unless you have a super huge wall this is likely going to be the centerpiece look around right now about where you're going to put it or maybe what you're going to take down to put this up instead opening bid right now of just three hundred dollars is going to get you on the board maybe you'll even get lucky to be that only bidder we kind of hope not at KVIE because we're trying to get all the pieces to hit the retail or go above goal. But right now, you can start the bidding at just $300 by calling the number on your screen. David, it's painted in a very impressionistic style. It's filled with vibrant color. It's got a lot of movement. You can kind of see the shimmering water, and it's really stunning. She also likes the versatility of oil paint because it allows her to make changes at any point in the painting process, um, and she likes that you can apply it in different kinds of methods. All right, well, again, this piece is still open, and we're going to check, though, in with Dee to talk about another piece. I am standing here next to piece number 6C, Before the World Awakens, a stunning pastel. It's got a high bid of 375. I want to do a shout-out and a special thank you to Blue Wing um, Framing, who did the framing on this piece. They did an amazing job. It is completely museum correct. They've got a mat that's floating out here, which you want to do with the pastel so it doesn't get too close to the glass. Um, it's it's a very elegant frame job. It's at 375. If you are in Woodland and you need a good frame shop, go into to the Blue Line and tell them that we sent you and tell them thank you very much for supporting KVIE. Meanwhile, you can support us by bringing this bid up to $400, number 6C, Before the World Awakens. Let's go back to the lovely Kelly Rains. And we are back with Sierra Treasure. And what I love about this piece is, you know, it, it was, it's, it's new. It was made not too long ago, but it has this classic look like it could be 50 years old. It's beautiful. It reminds me of a painting that my parents have, and every time I look at it, I want to go to that place, and I want to see that river, and I want to see those trees and those mountains. And in my notes, when I looked at it, I just had these four words just constantly coming at me. Movement, joy, serenity, and escape. This is the kind of piece that if you acquire it right now, your kids are probably going to be the ones to say, can I have it? when, you know, unfortunately we all pass on, but someone's going to fight for this because they're going to want to keep it in the family, and it has that kind of feel. We do have a bid right now of $300, which is fantastic, but we want to see it move up. We're going to keep it open. You've seen the piece. Call right now, though, because you don't want it to close before you get a chance to bid. It's still open, but we're going to move on to another piece, and that piece, of course, is item number 6E, and it's called Laundry Day in Lincoln, and, of course, you can see why, because uh, those clothes, they're hanging out to dry, so to speak, or, or so to be real. Item number 60, it's watercolor, measures 18 by 20, retail value of $400. Guess what? Already a bell <gasps> ringer. That's exciting. And we have a bid of $450, and you can hear that. There's Kenny the bell ringer right there. 
and tell us a little bit more about the piece. Uh, well, I dabble in watercolors too, but not nearly to the proficiency and artistry of Diane. It's watercolor is a very unforgiving medium, so once you lay down color, you have to live with it and work with it. And she does it effortlessly, keeping the whites of the paper for the white of the subject. You can see that in the laundry that's hanging on the the line and the poles, and it's just really, really beautiful. She loved the simplicity of the scene and the colorful clothes contrasted nicely with the buildings. And you mentioned something about the whites. Like this is the only thing I know about watercolors other than knowing that I like them and they're fantastic, is white is not a color in watercolor. It's the absence of color. So you really have to kind of move around it and not apply that like you're applying all the other colors. And it's really impressive to see. It's really, really hard to do because sometimes you just can't stay away from that white. But to have the patience and the diligence and uh, quite honestly, the skill to be able to do that in watercolor is magnificent. Um, it's a watercolor, like we've been talking about. It's inspired by plain air, which means it's done outside. And she says the scene cried out for a watercolor interpretation. The bright colors and the transparent paint uh, just depicted it perfectly. And just about every color is here. I mean, I love this. And right when I think I can't see any other colors, I can see the orange in that as well. Mm -hmm. This is an amazing piece. Has a fantastic frame on it as well. And I'm sure if you're looking around right now about what part of your home or office could use a little bit of color, this is going to do it for you. Has a high bid right now, $450, but you can still get in at just probably $475. They'll take that bid. They'll take that bid. Uh, another thing I love about this, David, is she's a local artist, but it's also a local scene. This was painted from a photograph taken in Lincoln, which is, again, right in our backyard. Well, I love it. Someone else loves it at $450. I can't bid, but if you love it as much as I do, you can. Call the number on your screen. We're going to check in, though, right now with D. I am here with item number 6D by Velma Davidson, Sierra Treasure. It's got a bid right now of 550. It is in an amazing, I'm a, I'm, I love a good gold leaf frame. It's a, in a plein air frame, which they call a tabernacle frame. It has no um, join marks. Um, so the frame is actually, the wood is cut and joined first, and then it's gilded over the top. So you don't get those 45 degree angle frames. And then it's carved in the corners. Beautiful frame, beautiful painting. It's at 550 right now. Item number 60, just bump it up to 650. Let's make them all bell ringers. It's a $1,300 value. Again, 6D. If you call, that's the piece you want to bid on. Let's go out and look at that laundry day one more time. That's right. Now, remember, all the money that we raise right now is going right to KVIE for all the programs that you love. So thank you if you're one of the winning bidders. Right now, a high bid of $550 on Laundry Day in Lincoln. And Kelly, tell us a little bit more about it before we move on. I really wanted, again, to point out just the sophistication and artistry of her uh, expertise in this. There's little tiny details. There's a building peeking through the trees over here on the right. And the clothesline itself, the little clothespins have depth and texture, and you can feel them in your hands as you're pinching them open to put the laundry on there. And she said that this scene depicts a disappearing scene laundry on the line on a sunny day. Not a lot of that left, right? We all have the dryers. This kind of takes you back. It might be something that takes you back to your childhood. Uh, it, it, it's just an amazing piece. I love all the colors in this. It's kind of got a Norman Rockwell feel to it, just in the Americana it's capturing. And it reminds me of when I was a little girl that my mom, when my mom would hang out the sheets on the clothesline. We're going to keep it open. It has a high bid right now of 600 So if you're going to call in right now, all you have to do is make a bid that's just a little bit higher than that. But we've moved on now to the final piece in the first night of the KVIE art auction. We're going to introduce you now again. Actually, we've already introduced you. We're going to talk a little bit more about item number 6F. It's called Church Dublin, California. Has a retail value of $400. Looking for a starting bid of just $100. Kelly, tell us a little bit more. This is one of my favorite pieces in the auction. I talked to the artist about his process. Uh, he's, he's based in Dublin. He grew up in Dublin, California, and that's where this picture was taken. It's of an old abandoned settler's church that's now in the midst of a uh, near a freeway and a strip mall, but his process is absolutely fascinating. What he does is he takes a picture and then he creates a stencil over the picture. He cuts out the pieces that he wants the paint to be able to go through. He then lays it on a canvas, which is usually a found piece of material, sometimes a chalkboard. He's painted on mirrors. And this painting in particular, he says it took 20 minutes to do the actual painting, but eight hours or so to create the stencil so he could do the painting. So this is very much about the process. And you can 
can see it's a substantial piece. It's 22 inches by 28. When we have the live shot, you can see that it's pretty large compared to, you know, us when we're in there. It has a really interesting frame job that's going to be unlike anything else that you likely have in your home. And it was framed by the artist. He, again, he likes to use repurposed work um, in his work and materials. He says he started doing art. He's self-taught so he could create affordable art for people to access. And right now we have, it's going to update on your screen, but we do have a bid of $100 and we're looking for another bid to come in. And we're going to try to make this a bell ringer at $400, which I think should be pretty easy to do because this is just such a great piece of art. It's so different. It's such a great conversation starter. I can just imagine the time and effort it took to expertly cut out all of these different slats of the building. And there's such a unique angle to it too. Um, looking up at this old abandoned settlers church and this is what you find what's peeking out of those windows. It's got a mood, it's got a mystery. I know I use that a lot, but those are the things I love. So speaking of bell ringers, you know what? We have some. Let's check in with Dee. Diane Pargamon, another one of our favorite artists who donates every year. This bell is for you. <laughs> Number 6E, Laundry Day in Lincoln has a retail of 400. We're up to 650 and people are still bidding on it. It's a delightful watercolor. She's definitely a master in the medium. It's still open for just a few more minutes. We've only got a few more minutes left of tonight. Again, 6F, the church in Dublin is at 100. That's one of my... One of my favorites too, Kelly. I love that crazy frame. So let's look at that one more time. That's right. We're back with the final piece in this half hour. And Kelly, you've got a couple more things I think you wanted to say about it. Uh, well, I will say I love it a million times. It's so beautiful. One of my favorite things that Billy said when he talked about the piece and his process um, is that it's like using Photoshop but without a computer. So he is the computer and the painstaking process he does to manipulate this painting. He also uses, instead of just photographs and paper as part of the stencil, down here you can see uh, bits and pieces of the foreground and foliage. He'll use actual found uh, foliage, leaves, and grass, much like he did here. And then he spray paints it over uh, and creates layers and layers of this beautiful painting. It's an amazing piece with a current bid right now of only $100. When we go off air, this piece is still going to be open because other people can call in. But once those calls end and someone's sitting at the top of the mountain, so to speak, with the bids, they're going to get it. Let that person be you. You got to call the number on your screen, though, and you have to make that bid because we're going to be ending this pretty quickly. I'm so jealous for the person who gets this because this I am absolutely in love with this piece. Um, again, it took him eight hours just to prep it. He's a self-taught artist, and he's been featured in some gallery shows and exhibits and studies in the Bay Area, and he's currently uh, taking classes at San Francisco State. And we have a bid. It's going to update on your screen of $200. That's fantastic. Halfway towards the goal of the $400. But you can make that happen when you pick up the phone and say, I want to bid on item number 6F. And it's, it's, it captures this juxtaposition of what's old and new. And you see these old landmark buildings in these populated uh, areas. And it, it's got this old timey feel. And he said he wanted to transport people back in time. Well, now we have a bid of 300. That's fantastic. And as you decide how much you're going to bid, we're going to check in with D. I am here with Holly, who is our new events coordinator, and this is her first auction. Are you having a good time? I'm having a wonderful time. Thank you, Dee. Are you going to be here tomorrow? We haven't worn you out? <laughs> Not yet. I'm going to be here all weekend, and I hope that everybody's going to be looking at all the art. Well, you heard Holly. Get online tonight. Look up kvie.org slash art auction. Find your favorite piece, and I'm sure you have one. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we all have a favorite piece. Find your favorite piece. Write down what time it's going to be on and call us and bid because it's the end of the night. And here's our last piece up. Let's go to David. And that's it for the first day of the 38th annual KVIE Art Auction. Tune in tomorrow starting at noon for 10 more hours of live auction excitement featuring works from Elk Grove Fine Arts Center, The Artery, the California Masters Collection, and so much more. Thanks for watching and for making art a part of your life on KVIE, your PBS station. Have a wonderful night.